Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check. One, two, three. Microphone working. Check, 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 check. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back and happy Monday. Happy Monday. I am, of course, Fanable. Welcome to my stream. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. A happy start to the new week. Hopefully everything is going well for all of you at the start of this week. I know Mondays are not everybody's favorites, but hopefully you're all still staying well and staying relaxed. Ah, let's see here. Let's see. Cerebral, Ty, Cleo, hello. Ah, let's see, let's see. Uh, our weekend was pretty good. Unfortunately, Cleo is not with me. I mean, she's with me in spirit. Cleo had to go out of town starting today, and she'll be she'll be gone until Thursday. She went to uh, South Carolina, I believe. South Carolina. And uh, I know I said that we might try to stream this game over the weekend. Obviously, that did not happen. It did not happen. We actually got invested in a, a bunch of science fiction watching... We had a basically a completely loaded sci-fi weekend. We watched all of uh, the Three Body Problem, the entire season's worth. Uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. I really, really hope the numbers are doing well because uh, I would like Netflix to greenlight a couple more seasons, if not more. I have heard that the second novel onward just gets better for this series. So I'm very, very interested in seeing where it goes. If you don't know what Three Body Problem is, it's based on a very, very popular science fiction uh, novel and set of novels um, uh, out of China. A Chinese writer, I believe it's the only Chinese written science fiction that has ever won a Hugo Award. And it's very, very popular. Um, it's already had an ad adaptation out of China. Netflix has taken a stab at adapting it on Netflix. And we liked it. We liked it enough that we watched all of it pretty much back to back. And then on top of that, we, uh, we then finished uh, the first season of Dark. We had started Dark a while ago, and it's several seasons in. A lot of people have always said it's very, very good, very good science fiction. And that is a sci-fi show on Netflix that's based out of Germany. Um, we did watch it with subtitles with um, in, in German. Well, the subtitles were in English. We watched it with German audio. And the first season, even though it's a really slow burn and you have to pay very close attention to everything that's going on, throughout the show I was constantly going like, who is this? Who is this? Who's related to this person? This person is related to this person. I kept having to like re... Uh, I kept having to say out loud over and over again who was related to who to try to keep everything straight with the families and everything in that show. But it, it's very, very interesting. It ended very well in the first season, so I'm looking forward to continuing that series, Dark, when uh, Cleo returns. And appropriately... Let's jump right into another seemingly feeling like a TV series, Alan Wake 2. And that, of course, is what we're here to continue, Alan Wake 2. Um, Alan Wake 2 dev definitely does feel like a TV series, certainly more than, than the first game. Uh, I would say last week, we just started it last Friday, and honestly... It felt like we watched the first episode in a TV series, what we played. We played the first two chapters, which, um, the first two chapters were with Saga and titled Return 1 and 2. I don't remember their exact names. And basically, what we ended up uh, experiencing was, I don't want to say that, but... 
the the story starts out with the return of Nightingale. I didn't realize it was Nightingale at first. The last time we saw Nightingale in Alan Wake 1, I believe, was him at the jail being sucked out of the back door of the jail by the darkness. And then apparently he just he he's not he's unaccounted for ever since then. I'm I'm assuming and then in the start of this game, he just pops up out of Lake Cal- um, out of, uh, Cauldron Lake, Lake Cauldron, only to be uh, only to be sacrificed by this cult of people taken over by the darkness as well. And then he was ended up taken as a as a as a zombie dead person at that point. So the entire the entire amount that we've played of Alan Wake 2 starting last weekend, uh, last Friday, was just trying Saga trying to figure out what was going on, including who Nightingale was, uh, who killed him and why, finding manuscripts, more manuscript pages from Alan Wake describing the situation, Nightingale returning from the dead. He was taken over by the darkness, and even though he was a corpse... He was moving around just fine. And the episode ended where we actually caught up with Nightingale after um, passing through, what was it, the the overlap in the tree and and defeating him. And then after that, Saga actually seemed to... I mean, mean, it's got to be Saga, right? She's got to have some... I was saying it last week that she has to have some kind of paranatural ability... In, in, the, in the Remedy universe. Because after she defeated him, she kind of tapped into Wake. And Wake was like, am I actually talking to someone real? And it almost seems as if like she tapped into contacting him and pulled him out of the dark place. So it seems as though we finally have pulled Alan Wake out of the dark place after over a decade of him being stuck there. And that's basically where we left off. Technically speaking, I believe that's the beginning of the next chapter, though. But we we, we watched the opening cutscene of the next chapter, and that's where we're going to continue here. So yeah, I didn't I didn't mention uh, Alex Casey or anything like that. Alex Casey's here too. I almost kind of want to like ponder whether or not Alex Casey. <laughs> I uh, both Cleo and I had had talked, and we were like, is Alex Casey going to be like? be like a, a a fight club situation is he like tyler durden but i mean we see him talking to people throughout the opening two chapters so it wouldn't be exactly like that i guess i don't know but i don't know i mean did tyler durden talk to people i mean he kind of did we did watch him talk to people right i don't know <laughs> i don't remember we need to rewatch fight club but anyway yeah, so we're going to continue right off here and see what's happening with um, with Alan Wake having been pulled out of the dark place and everything. So I'm, I'm super excited to continue. Anyway, enough rambling and babbling. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Uh, again, welcome back. Happy Monday. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet already. I very, very much appreciate it. Subscribe, share all of the good things. Let's get started. Let's go. Spots, welcome back, Werefox. Hello, happy Monday. And it should be starting here. Yeah, right where we left off. Right at the start of the chapter. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Hey! 
Are you okay? No, no, it's my fault. It got out with my face. Scratch. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's, he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. <laughs> right. It's terrible. <laughs> Spooky suspense. Both, I would imagine. Okay, that was actually the last cutscene at the end of the last chapter. So it didn't actually jump us right into the next chapter. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Yeah, it, I mean, I, I, they could fall under of several genres. Supernatural, horror, definitely first thing. I would even say, yeah, like thriller, science fiction. It's, uh, it's definitely an interesting series. And it's, it's one of a few different games that's part of this overlapping universe. Alex Casey, how am I still? Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Now you can play it on all controls, as far yeah, as I'm aware. It's available everywhere, outside of the Switch. Me. Great. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so Wake came out saying Scratch is changing the narrative. But, I mean, if Scratch has been around for the past decade, it seems weird to me that he would only just be now doing writing himself and re-emerging the darkness. But, I don't know. I don't know. Um, It might be on the... I don't know if it's on the PS4. It might not be. It might only be on next-gen... Or current-gen... Uh, current-gen consoles. I'm not sure, though. Wait. Get your bearings. Then we'll head out. I just, I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. <laughs> and a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. I mean, we know what he's talking about. Of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Yeah, that's kind of how we were. I don't. I don't think we got a. We. Yeah, because we got the PS4 Pro when we finally got the PlayStation 4. Should look around. With the flooding gone, neither P the clues out there. Either the PS5 the had just come out or it was suddenly. coming out shortly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. Well, can we do anything in here? We have a random picture of him, so I'm assuming this is case closed Nightingale on Nightingale. Goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? 
I killed Nightingale. Had to. He was a monster. The flooding around Cauldron Lake receded afterward. Nothing about this makes rational sense. We found Alan Wake, a writer missing for 13 years, at the shore of the lake. Hopefully he can shed some light on this. Me too. I'm, I'm very, very... I am very excited for all the new games that are going to be coming out over the next five years. All the new graphics technology looks so freaking amazing. I mean, this game looks really good too, but... Some of the stuff that's going to be coming out here soon looks even better than this. Alright, hold on. Do we have anything else for the case board? What does our goal say? Optional. Investigate the previously flooded area. Take the car back to Bright Falls. So yeah, let's definitely do the optional stuff. Anything in our cases? Nope. Alright, let's leave then. Anything along the beach? Nothing? Can't jump up there. Can we talk to Wake? What's up? Talk to me. S stop just staring at me. Talk to me. Sir, have you been drinking? What were you doing out here? No worries, Spots. It was good seeing you. Take it easy. What can we investigate? We're clearly not interested in this dead deer. Creepy twig sculpture? We can go this way. Can we go under this? We can. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Yes, it is. What? Wait. Oh. What prompted this to start? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Uh, what? But every cultist we've seen looks like they're, they've are they been taken, too. So I'm confused. Alright, well. We got some supplies. Cult stashes. And we got a couple different things. Cult of the tree. Note reminding cultists that victims are like animals. Why the heck were we so far over there? Maybe 
cult goal or cult psychology. Dehumanizing their victims. They are the predators. Their victims are just prey. Hmm. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels derivative. Like something out of a horror movie. That's what it is, man. We're stuck in a horror movie right now. Cult stashes. Okay, so this is a new These collector menu. These stashes contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. All right, our goal to investigate the area is still up, so let's continue doing that. I'm assuming we're done in this area. It was just this off. So this was the off path to get a stash. I probably need to be pay paying a little closer attention to areas that we can go off the path on. Why are they not coming with me? Why are they down there? He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught, murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there, but he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Why are the manuscript pages important to keep? I don't know if I, I really got that from the first one. I just assumed that people saw the importance in them because they could they would essentially tell you the future. Um, but yeah, what's what's the importance of keeping them overall? You can quick turn by pressing backwards twice. Oh really? Okay. Alright. Is something eating something over here? Sounds like something's chowing down. Is there a zombie? Okay. I heard creepy music, but I don't see anything. Oh. That is a wolf. Oh, no, why'd they introduce wolves into this? It's already bad enough to- Gross! Oh, shoot! You dirty, mangy bastard. Out of ammo? What the hell? Crap. 
Uh, I've already forgot my keys. I don't even think... Do I even... Oh, I do have a shotgun. I should probably heal. Even the animals are turning into monsters. <laughs> All right, we're not playing Red Dead Redemption. I can't skin it. <laughs> I mean, that might not be a bad animal to bag and uh, maybe, I don't know, investigate, dissect. Autopsy. Don't forget to use safe havens to hide from enemies and receive healing in combat. I'm actually glad I didn't waste my, uh... My health pack. Heal. So we're out of pistol ammo. That, that, uh... That sucks. Okay, so I have the pistol here. Shoddy here. Yeah, I already I've already forgotten some of the keys that I I did last week. To be fair, it was the first time I was playing. I'm getting used to the controls. My controls, I should say. Um What's the dodge? Dodge shift. Apparently I can have these on on two different things, but I don't want that. How do I get rid of it from here? I mean, that's good to know that we can combine these if we needed to. Oh, no, we don't want... How do I... Oh, how do I remove this? Is there a way to get rid of it? I'm just going to put it on a random key. I'll just make it left shift, too. There we go. That's good. Okay. Are we still... Um... Okay, we're still investigating the flooded area. We're... We got arrows. Are these arrows like Alan Wake 1, where they're pointing us to a stash? At Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. There's a bag. A Ziploc baggie with a piece of paper with a light bulb on it. Why can't we take that at least? Use Nightingale's heart. Why do I still have his heart? <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. So we need to find a key or a crowbar or something. This is not the way we came, right? I, I I know it feels it feels like I'm going backwards, which I probably am, right? Because yeah, this is going back to the lake, which it's blocked off. But there is a thing here. Hello. 
Today's catch, a yellow perch and mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. So on an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise, had binoculars or a telescope or something, taking notes, didn't notice me. Good, don't need the attention. Today's catch, just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman, not even the fish. All right, why did you leave this here then, whoever you are? Now over here looks to be an area we haven't been yet. Trauma pad I left behind apparently. What is this symbol? Do I have a a legend? I need a legend. Do we want to explore over here though? I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, this is this is a completely new area for me. What? There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? A little clothes bindle. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. This could be evidence. Don't give it to Reminds your daughter who may not exist. I read to Logan when she was little. What? Keep trying. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why was I able to put that there? Oh, okay, here, hold on. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the n ending, whatever it may be. Something feels different. I should look around. What? Did that crow just drop this here? A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That what? was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. I gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes? Are we done doing this? Can I take that bird? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. We can't do anything more with this. Where Fox said hi, Cleo. Uh-oh. Can we hide? <laughs> Do I have a hide function? I can't crouch. Cleo's probably at her hotel, so I imagine she might be working. Do they see me? I have very limited ammo. Away. Oh, that guy's suddenly running at me. Oh, his weak point is on his back. Oh, gross. What are they doing? What's wrong with them? I don't know if I like the double tap backwards game. This is gonna screw me over sometimes. I wonder if we can turn that off. Um, you know what? I might just leave them there. You guys stay there, okay? 
Maybe I'll come and search that area in a second. I don't know where to go. I honestly, I'm I'm completely confused on what to do and where to go. Like, should we keep exploring this area? I want to know what's going on up here. This area, I'm assuming, is off limits that we won't be able to gain access to. But we have a cabin over here that obviously we need to explore. But those guys look confused, so we're going to let them continue being confused. I'm going to go over here and follow these arrows real quick that we never did. I saw a tr it said there was a trauma pad that we didn't pick up. Oh yeah, look, right there. Down. Oh look, a key. Okay, so I'm assuming... Uh, I, I don't know what I'm assuming anymore. Because we can still go this way, right? Maybe we'll go to the witch's hut and save, and then we'll move back up northwest. Okay, where's that box? Over here. And where, Fox, if you didn't see Cleo? <laughs> Cleo is unpacking. I know, I know all these ladies well, and they like just to listen more than watch so they're probably both missing each other's messages to each other stream sites dash key the cult is watching right now that's disconcerting <laughs> well, it's mostly Werefox. She's the one who told me, like, oh, I usually just like listening to your voice <laughs> rather than watching, so I usually miss the chat. Wait, can we get to the witch's hut? Wait. What? Why did it... Why did it show that? Why does it keep coming back to this? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to figure out where I am and where I need to go. And now there's some taken nearby. All right, hold on. All right, is the witch's hut area? This is driving me crazy. Why does it keep putting me back next to that cabin? That's got a that uh, that stash. That's got to be a bug, right? Finder station. Yeah, that's really bugging the crap out of me. Okay, so this way is supposed to be... But I think that way is... Can we go this way? Oh, we can go this way. Don't forget to save often! The game just told me to, to forget to save often. Hello. I definitely needed those. I'm glad we came up here. Oh, it still bugs me that the guns are not on the mouse scroll. Weren't the guns on, weren't all the weapons and items on the mouse scroll? Wasn't that an option in Alan Wake 1? Like, you, you still had the hotkeys that you could use if you wanted to, but you could also use the mouse scroll to select between them, which was honestly what I used most of my playthrough. It's bugging me, it's gone. So yeah, I mean, we could go back, but I want to... I want to find out what's going on over here. And this still says optional. Invest the previously flooded area. So maybe we will. We'll head over here. If only we could have cut over there right here. I'm going to assume we can't. Because this area is all darkened. I guess we could go look. 
since we're over here. Unless there's taken over here. So let's go. Let's go investigate. Maybe we can go this way. Oh, this was just an unexplored area. That's why it was still gray. Let's see if we can get over here from this side. Hmm. No reason to go down this way? Well, there's something over here. What the heck does this say? It looks like it says minus two. I have no idea. Well, this is confusing because the seven is still visible. Looks like a seven and then a minus two? We'll assume that means something. Let's just try to remember the five, shall we? For the moment. Okay, we can't go beyond here. Oh wait, here's some more. Six plus two. Do I need to write this down? We got a seven minus two, a six plus two. So we have an eight and then a five. Eight and five. I have an eight, five, and a six. Oh gosh, should I write this down? Eight, five, and six. Another locked box. Oh. Here we go. What order do you think it is? Rock, rock, tree. Okay. So five, six, eight, maybe? Let's try that. Nope. Did I even have the numbers right? That one was 7 minus 2, right? So maybe it's 6, 5, 8? Yay! Are you one of us or one of them? I don't like this. I don't like these notes they're leaving for me. Why can't we take these snacks? Are these eaten? Are they empty? We haven't come across any more taken. I feel like that can't be. Lasting for very long here. Oh man. Okay. We got a light. No! My controller! I wasn't even using my controller right now, but at least it dis at least it paused. Let's go in and replace the batteries real quick. While we're thinking of it. Which I happen to have two spare batteries right here. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, don't think these are going to work with it. Okay. Camping do's and don'ts. There's too many places to go right now. I don't know where to go first. We still have the, the private cabin to do. Should we explore this little pond? Got a birdhouse right here. Hmm. 
Hello. Are there crows up there? Should I shoot it down? Would that be good or bad? Oh, I don't like wading through water. I'm not seeing anything else over here other than the birdhouse, though. Right, is this a place that I can pull myself up? my ammo doing this. Okay. Well, I don't like the idea of continuing to waste my ammo, but I have not accomplished anything. These two shots that I just fired. I might have to put a pin in this. The cottage. The cottage. Alright, let's go investigate the cabin. Oh, that's what Cerebral says anyways. those rhymes. Got a generator over here. And the last time we did this bloody rhyme, I feel like it spawned too taken, so I don't want to do it just yet. Hello? Is anybody in here? Save point? Yes. Yes. Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty, come down from New York City and loved every minute of the trip. These paths have seen better days. Nice views you got here. May I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Camping do's and don'ts. From your friendly park ranger, do hike and enjoy the scenery, set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal, and relax. Good advice. Don't chop down any trees. Leave your trash behind. Be loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Don't start a forest fire. That's also good advice. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Trees are dark. I wish we could make out what the scribbles were. Should we put some stuff on the board? I'm sure we have lots of things to put on the board. Nursery rhymes. Another collectible. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Whoa, we have a bunch of stuff here. 
Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. <clears throat> What are these who made them? Completing the puzzle made the world change. What's going on here? A charm appeared at the site of the rhyme. That's not right. No. Rhyme found near Bridge at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Found a strange rhyme on a sheet of paper with children's drawings. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, the fact that these are so spread, that that's all the way up here. So we still have that. Let's look around the cabin real quick. I have not picked up another doll. What does this say? A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Hmm. We don't have anything to place here, do we? I mean, we still have the doll. But surely it can't be used for the... For every rhyme, right? That'd be silly. But why do we still have the doll? Can we put Nightingale's heart on something? There's something I can pick up here? What the heck is that? Does it have something to do with the birdhouse? Is the birdhouse going to be different now? If we go to it? I don't know. Let me know if I've, I've missed something with this birdhouse. I don't want to keep trying to shoot at it. I have such limited ammo. <laughs> There's got to be some other way of getting it down or something. No sign. From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range. Here you will find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. Pacific Northwest region's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands, and dry desert plateaus cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer and coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It is truly the nature lover's paradise. Okay. But yeah, we haven't found like a new piece or anything like that for the rhyme. These bastards come from. And we, yeah, this is another box. So we have two boxes here that we can't open yet. We have this way up here that we didn't go. Of course, those bastards are in the way now.
Where'd they go? Something hazy is on the table there. Manuscript. All right, Wake, what do you got for us? An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Assuming we can get back over here that way. Oh, look, a dream catcher. Or maybe not. I don't know. Can't do anything with them. I also can't even run into them. Alright, hold on. Let's keep looking over here first. There's a rhyme over here. I don't like how these rhyme locations have these cameras set up. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry. And he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she'd loved the most. Hello? Is anyone home? I'm technically not breaking and entering because your door was wide open. I'll take those. Oh, look at that. Stuffed moosh. What? Look at that kitty cat. Ah, shoot. I just wasted my bloody flashlight twice, hitting the wrong button. 
Rest All right. easy, buddy. The deer heads. I forgot about this. Another stuffed moose. This one's sitting up. All right, we got a computer here. Should we keep exploring? What the heck? I just broke the doors on this. How did I do that? We just popped right off the hinges. Is anybody up there? Hello? Don't pop out or anything. I'm gonna look at your computer, okay? Password. Oh, I definitely do not know the password here. Wait, what? Is the password on the bloody post-it? That's ridiculous. As far as I know, the F key is not unbindable, which is unfortunate because I'm having to reach over to it. Yay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cerebral. <laughs> yeah. Don't need any ghosts popping out. Thank you. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be a beneficial for the research. these research purposes. Test results are negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Okay, that's some evidence, apparently. Project Nursery Rhymes. I have received your favorable review. Who is this from? From Campbell again to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell. Department of Parafictional Research. All right, right. All right, we're going upstairs. That's true, that is true. <laughs> We got more objects. Maybe we can take some of these. Or cameras. What is this? Witchfinder Station 2. Streamside 1, Cauldron Lake, Rental Cabins 1. I'm assuming this is the Rhymes locations. So there's two at the Witchfinder Station. One streams by one Cauldron Lake. Okay. We got a hero doll, a kitty cat. Oh no, it's a wolf. My bad. Sorry, wolf. <laughs> you look like a kitty cat to me. I'm 
objective. Research into the reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. Oh, the Federal Bureau of Control's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality. Either by reflecting events that have come to pass but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. That's not slightly confusing or anything. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via careful testing process with the purpose of story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data the hope that the pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. FBC just muddling around around the lake. I'm a little weirded out that the FBC would have left all this, man. Something must have happened to them. They did talk about sending agents to the area, didn't they? And then they lost contact with them. I don't remember reading about any of this though. All right, so we've got we've picked up two new figurines from in here. And that's about it though, just two. So I'm assuming we can solve those other two rhymes that we saw with these ones. This game is giving me way too much false sense of security right now. I am not going to be prepared at all if something does eventually pop out. Are you missing anything? I need to remember to click these deer heads when we see them. Should we do this one first since we're here? That makes sense, right? Okay, so this one said... The hero brave and strong left home to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf so hungry and... So greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host... Hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved the most. So we can assume, what, tree? What the wolf? Well, that didn't do anything. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. Ate what he found? What would that mean? Candy? <laughs> a bird? Can I just p click the thing on any of the all of these? Like it does does it even matter whether or not we get it wrong? What did she love the most? Did the wolf eat her candy? Nothing seems to be happening with the wolf. Oh wait, is this the hero? We've been trying to put the wolf on everything. We do have a hero doll, too. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? So, are we going to have to use, like, combinations of the figurines to solve these? So we could say... Maybe the wolf was in the woods? And did the wolf eat her candy? Or did the wolf eat her bird? Oh, well, she, she did not like that. What about candy? Thanks, Saga. Oh no, I'm messing it up completely.
I have no idea if the <laughs> I don't know. That's not right. I mean, if I was a wolf, I'd I'd like to eat the candy. Doesn't look right. But I don't know what else a freaking wolf would want to eat outside of a freaking bird and candy. Keep trying. These things aren't edible. Unless he ate somebody's eyeball. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Oh my gosh. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What did the wolf eat? Oh, I don't want to fight a wolf. Where's the hero in this? What is this? They're clearly wolf prints. Is the wolf in here now? What did he eat? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna find him in the fridge. Look, a ducky. No! Is it implying that the wolf ate a baby? Oh, shit. Another charm for my bracelet. Why couldn't the wolf have just eaten some candy? Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Interesting. I liked my story better. Wolf just could have eaten the hero's candy, and then the hero would be really upset about it and pouted. And then the wolf just trotted off into the woods happily from eating all the candy. We'll just say that's what happened. <clears throat> We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. We're not done here, though. It's saying optional, but we still have the other thing to solve. Okay, so I'm assuming that when we solve the other nursery rhyme, it's going to cause the, the house to fall down, right? We need to get back to it, though. We need to get back to the cabin. Should we go this way? Where were those dinks, man? We saw somebody walking around <laughs> around here. Alright, straight ahead. No, no diddle daddling. Let's just go straight there. All right, you gotta stop doing that. That time it was not my battery though. It was just the controller turning off because it timed out. All right, a mother crow sits in her nest guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. All right, so we can assume the hero's on the hearth. A mother crow sits in her nest. Is that be the house? And then the beast is going after the babies? Ugh. Nope. I mean, the tree could be where she's... Where she is. Nope. No. 
Hmm. Beast coming to feast? What's the eyeball? I mean, the nest... I don't know. You have a house, but then you also have a tree where the nest could be. And then where would the beast go? Maybe the crow is with her babies? Nah. No, no, no. Is there a wolf now? I definitely hear something wolf-like. Let's save real quick. We only have three manual saves. That makes me sad. Hello, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. Is he trying to eat the crow babies right now? Oh, it did fall. I don't like this. So is there nothing? It's just like telling me a story. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this Oh bracelet. no, there's definitely something. Gosh. Why are you so tough? Increases hand, flares, duration, and area of effect. That would be good if I was using flares, which I haven't been. We should probably put the flares on something. Guess we'll put it on the one that we don't have used yet. I might need to move that key, but it's there now. What are the other ones? Attack, stagger enemies more often, increases maximum health, saves you from death. Hmm. I don't know. We haven't done it very often. What did we pick up? Just a charm? I still need something to open these bloody things. We don't have any keys for these. Or things to break them with. Did we miss something somewhere? What have we not explored? We have two... Oh wait, there's a screwdriver next to this container over here? Where is that? Is it on the ground? Where is that? Or is it telling me what's inside there for some reason? Yeah, it says there's a screwdriver over here. Container and screwdriver. Is there a screwdriver that I'm not seeing? It'd be weird that it would tell me what was inside, right? But I don't see a screwdriver anywhere. Alright, I'm going to assume it's in there. So yeah, we need a way to open these. 
we need a way to open these. A screwdriver. Well, I don't think a screwdriver would be able to open them. Is there anything over here that would open locks? I don't see anything. All right. All right, let's move on. I don't know. I want to open those. But I don't have the means to. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody bastards blocking my way. Should we go around? If we can. Oh, ho, ho. that's even worse. There's another freaking wolf over here. Ah! Ah! Back, demon! To the light! at those figurines items oh yeah here we go i still think it looks kind of like a kitty cat it, it looked like a kitty cat when it was on the ground we got another box over here too is this one locked as well where am i oh we haven't gone up this way look more dream catchers should i heal am i low on health does light only heal you a, to a certain degree? What is on the ground over here? We got like Easter egg looking rocks. Are these significant? Should I be shooting these? There's another lunchbox. I don't know. I have no idea. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light, lonely and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed and, like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there, my love, my savior, my writer. What? No, oh, really? Are you for realsies? Where did we see a dream catcher earlier? Where did we see a dream catcher earlier? Was it here? Oh, that's gonna bug me. Oh gosh, they can just come out of nowhere. Bloody hell. Yeah, we saw another one somewhere else. I don't remember where it was. That makes me think we we missed a lunchbox somewhere else. Oh man, for real? So there's a lunchbox somewhere over here that we missed? We're gonna have to come back there. Where are we? Where am I going? Easter eggs.
Another one of those lunch boxes. Remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. But if you're having a good day, ignore this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Why does this keep happening? I just turn my light on and I don't end up continuing. All right. Should we go back here? There's still more to explore. I want to explore these rental cabins now. I mean, I also want to go back here to get that lunchbox, but... Should we go up, should we go up over here and explore up here before going to the car? I mean, that's one way we can get to the car, obviously. It's just taking a longer way to do it. behind me do they just spawn anytime you go to get a lunchbox it's not cool man at least we can get away from them it almost feels like the combat is a side thing and not something that's necessarily forced upon you Another Alex Casey lunchbox? My dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get... The tough get going? That can't be right. Not sure where the tough get going to. But maybe you'll find it inspiring. Is that really the saying? Have I been saying it wrong all these, all these years? When the tough... When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Is it not gets going? Because that's the way it's written twice here. Get going. Get going. Alright. Well, we found several lunch boxes. I'm a bit bummed that we left that one behind. feels wrong um i need to find my way back okay we can't go this way can we go up this way yeah why can't we go this way is it not gonna let us go up this path too up here I like it up here better the sun the sun is still shining up here yeah we have we oh, we can't go that way See if it turns us around here. Well, that's gonna stop us. I need something to cut this. All right. Well, that answers that. I mean, it wasn't all for naught. If we hadn't gone this way, we wouldn't have got that lunchbox. here now I 
Alex. We're here, Alex. Don't don't you mind where we've been? Not that you're probably going to ask. Where's Alec or uh, Alan? Oh, Ready hey, to Alan. Go. You cozy back there? Yeah, let's go. Let's leave. Where are we going? Back to Bright Falls. Oh, wait. What? No, put that away. No, I said put it away. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Oh my Jesus, gosh. David? You didn't have to tell her that Why part. Why you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, if Logan is not real, then there's a whole array of people that are not real or entertaining sagas. And look at these two drinking at the same time again. That makes me super suspicious. If he's a Tyler Durden character, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Are we inside her mind place? Is there anyone place? you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> okay, so it's, Alan it's crazy jumble, is like, the one writing the originals, like but Scratch has been the one doing the scribbles. It doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Oh, God. 
through the night? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? <laughs> Did we just teleport into it? Why is it so quiet? I can barely hear it. <laughs> oh man, it is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. I'm turning it up, guys. Are you okay a there, bunch. my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an... And we're getting drop frames. Of course we're getting drop frames. Hold on, guys. Almost feels like me turning it up. Started causing the frames to drop. All right, this will be break time. This will be break time for the moment. I'm going to go to the bathroom, get a drink, and then I'll be back.
Hello, I am back, I am back, 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 who's here, MP, Dragonborn, Cleo Warefox, anybody else is still here? Let's try to continue, shall we? All right, so we need to be careful on the balance on the audio here. I have the audio turned up <laughs> a lot on the game. For whatever reason, the audio is super, super quiet during this during this live-action cutscene. Um, so I need to try to remember to turn the audio back down uh, after the cutscene's over, because I have a feeling it's going to blow out your guys' ears as soon as the cutscene's done. And that would be bad. That would be bad. Since uh, we're on the break, I guess we could... Uh, we'll do a little Milo webcam for MP. We've been neglecting the Milo cam. There's not much to show here. He's depressed. Milo is depressed that Cleo is out of town. And thus, he's just sitting. He's been sitting where she normally sits all day. You're just being a fluff ball over here. Look, he's ignoring me right now. My doe. Why you ignore me? Huh? He's like, come on, Dad. I'm trying to sleep, man. He'll start cuddling with me by tomorrow once he's accepted that Mama's not coming home just yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's where Cleo normally sits is right over there so he's taking her spot in the for the time being very sad very sad all right let's try to continue here welcome back everybody welcome back hope you all got a drink bathroom break let's continue and, of course, always a good friendly reminder. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet already. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue. Like I said, I turned the audio up a lot. I still think it's super, It's still quiet, even with the audio turned up a lot for you guys. But, yeah, i got to remember to turn it back down when it's done. Ocean really means... You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You got Did we just lose connection to the stream? Are you guys able to see it? It's still saying it's reading, but I just realized mine. Is it Cerebral? Oh, no worries, Cerebral. No worries. Yeah. Here, I'm going to put it into the chat. Refresh, because I just saw that it mine came down. Make sure to refresh if you haven't. Cerebral, take it easy. Good night. Good night, farewell. And uh, I'm assuming possibly Kadedrin is out as well. Good night, Kadedrin. Good night, Zerable. Thank you for the help. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to catch up, and I will see you guys on the next stream, probably tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Me. 
Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on, playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? That would be a good question. I would start to wonder myself. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna turn the audio down. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys, if that was really loud. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna if that's gonna be the case for every time there's live action cutscenes. That live action cutscene was super, super, super quiet. So I ended up turning it up like six decibels. But yeah, it's gone back to normal audio now. So that's interesting. So Saga's chapters have been called Return, and Alan Wake's has been Initiation. And so these are the titles of the books. Okay. Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. All right. Well, I don't know if you'd be able to, like, if you, well, ironically, this, this stream split. But that, that entire live-action cutscene, I had had it turned up six decibels because it was super, super quiet. And then when it switched to this, the audio went back to normal. I turned it back down six decibels. Lorian, hello, welcome back. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. So yeah, we are now in... I'm, a, I'm in the first chapter of Alan Wake, playing as Alan Wake, called Initiation. So this is Initiation Chapter 1. And we seem to be stuck in some kind of... See, if I was Alan Wake right now, man, I would, I would be totally... I'd be wondering what, if anything, that had happened so far was real. Was Saga real? Especially since he met an Alex Casey? I'd be like, none of this has been real, has it? Do we have a flashlight? We do not have a flashlight. But 
But that is good to know that the audio was good for you guys. So I'll probably do that. If the if the audio is quiet again for the next live action cutscene, I'll probably just do that. I'll turn it up six decibels during those and then turn it back down when it's over. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. It's Could make a good writing it story. right now. You are living your book right this second, Alan. Or are you living someone else's book? Mr. Door. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Does he not remember? The neighbor of the beast. <laughs> yeah, he should know the old gods of Asgard. Then again, it's been 13 years, so I don't know. I, I guess maybe I wouldn't blame him for forgetting. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? The my interpretation of many worlds by Casper Darling. Casper Darling is from is from Control. from the Federal Bureau of Control. At least I think he is. Unless he was just an actor. I haven't played that game in a while. But he was definitely in Control. But maybe he was just an actor. I can't remember. Does anybody remember Control? I, I feel like I remember him going nuts. But I think he was actually one of the scientists, wasn't he? transmission I couldn't quite make out what was that a message oh, impossible to say someone should look that up for me because now that I'm thinking about it I think he was I think he was actually one of the main scientists wasn't he I should have played Control right before this game, too. Ah, I should have. Or at least watched a recap or something. care if I look it up real quick I 
Okay, Casper Darling, he was the head of research. So he wasn't one of the important scientists at the FBC. Thank you, MP. Wasn't he, was he the one that actually created the devices that they were wearing that saved them from being taken over? I don't know. I'm not going to read that far into it. But yeah. That's all I need. That's fine. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. man waking up from the nightmare I felt like a drowning man gasping for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days hmm should we look around first Interesting. Is this going to be like Alan Wake's mind place? Back here in the... Yeah, here's... Oh, uh, yeah. Here's the radio. This is totally going to be Alan Wake's equivalent... Equivalence of Saga's mind place. So what can we do here? A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. <clears throat> All right. So what can we do here? Part one, late night. Goals. Get back to writing. So we probably need to go sit down. Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it had felt right. I was trapped in a dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I had to write more. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. The story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said had felt true. All right, so let's go sit down at the typewriter. and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Mm. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you 
up here. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. The great Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. <laughs> and of course, we have Alan Wake here. He's the writer of the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! What? Sam Lake lending his face to the films. Is there anything else we can do here? Before zapping ourselves back into there. Alright, is this going to kick in another live action? So yeah, I'm probably going to have to bump your guys' audio again. If this starts another live action, that's quiet. Alright, let's go. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? So Alright, I did not adjust the audio, but it does not sound as quiet this time. Let me know if you if you guys think I need to turn up the audio for the game. Wait, what? I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan <laughs> of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because... On more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great, murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> hmm. So... Alan even said that Sam Lake looks exactly like he pictured Alex Casey. So, yeah, it can't just be a coincidence that there happens to be an FBI agent named Alex Casey. If if Alan Wake is claiming that the, that he's just as he always pictured him. It would have it would have been very uninteresting if it was just a coincidence. I don't know if we should go over and explore some of these other areas or if we should just start heading the direction that we know we went to last time. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. The code's different now. Oh. We have access to a different room. Oh no, this is the same room. Cause this is the book. Casper Darling. Hmm. Should we just try 666? Exploring. Oh, wait, what? That's five, six, five now? Okay. <laughs> I guess we don't need to go exploring that much. Five, six, five. different? I mean, that's a slight difference. The doors are completely open this time. Just cracked. No. Are we actually going to talk to him or is it just going to be... <laughs> is he actually going to be in there? See, Audie... Audie was... Uh, um, sorry, the janitor. That janitor on the image, Audie, he was in control. But he definitely seemed like more than just a janitor there was something very off about him we never did finish doing like a bunch of his side activities but yeah i mean he seemed to have some kind of odd knowledge of all the weird happenings that were going on and it was almost as if he was some kind of odd entity that existed at the bureau that people just let <laughs> let him do whatever he wanted ah no raid there you are tom Oh, Tom. not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but... You can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> uh, yeah, MP. That might be spot on. <laughs> very, very possible. Uh, 
Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Is he gonna want us to do general chores <laughs> as well? <clears throat> like Jess had to do. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. <laughs> I like that there's just a poster of him on the outside of the door. I'm kind of surprised they did that, to be honest. It would have been just having it say janitor's office and the door. would have been uh, more interesting and then having it reveal that it's him as soon as you open the door i think that would have been more effective <laughs> but yeah as soon as we walked up to it there's a freaking picture of audi right on on the door Audi sounds like your boss, Lorian. Maybe it is your boss. He's always watching. Can't go into any stalls. not look at the map whoa I didn't mean to do that we do have stuff that we can do though oh wait a minute hold on map this is the only way I can look at the map is by coming to my room here maybe maybe now I'll be able to short key it okay so the basement is behind us through here what is this Alice's photographs. Okay. Is there anything we can put on here yet? Find a way out of the talk show studio. Find what was left in the talk show studio basement. All right.
Alex Casey was my creation, but now it seemed he had a life of his own. He mentioned a lamp shaped like an angel. Janitor seemed to know me, but he got the name wrong. Had I written him into existence? He said I had left something in the basement, a tool to get out. Well, I would say no. <laughs> he didn't write him into existence, but who the heck knows? It's been 13 years. Maybe he did. Maybe he conjured Audie into existence, and Audie's been hanging out. <laughs> Anything's possible, I guess. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, I do have quick access to the map now. Alright, so let's go to the basement, yeah? I don't know if there's any reason to backtrack over here. Now, if Audie is not a part of his writings, then Audie is a very interesting individual, being that he's currently tapped into what appears to be some kind of fictitious thing in his mind. Night Gazer! Hello, Night Gazer! Happy Monday! I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I just got over a cold myself. Not the flu, thankfully, but I definitely had a cold of some kind. Hopefully you get better soon. dark. I need light. Aziz, light. Mm, yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, make sure to celebrate your birthday after you're done being sick. Don't let being don't sick ruin your birthday. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Look at this. This is not an ordinary looking light, is it? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing <clears throat> light to the darkness. All oh, these freaking moths. Get out of here, moths. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Hmm. You want me to do it again? Oh, that is cool. It's giving me uh it's giving me soul reaver vibes. And that's good to hear, night gazer. More vacation is always good. Always a good thing. And it's good you have plenty of vacation time to use. All right, let's transform this again. Oh, why don't you keep it out in your hands, man? I mean, if it's if we have a light, why not use it as a light source? 
know. I'm definitely hearing things. Are we hearing Taken? I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. I love it. So how much of this game is going to be in like Alan Wake's head or stuck in the dark place? Oh, I hear Audie again. Audie! Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, but that's only because I'll be taking MP offline to update him, give him a couple overdue patches. That's kind of like a day off, right? explore before we return this light. This is where is this where we first came down? I don't know. Oh, this is weird. Hold on, cuz there we're definitely missing something. We have an option to restore that light up top here. How much of this area can we explore now? I needed to find another way out. All right, hold on. Let's see what happens if we switch the light at the top here. Did we change? Indeed, Night Gazer. We wish nothing but good health upon you. Hopefully, it's very brief. Yeah. This still looks the same. Let's just go to it. Oh. <laughs> so it didn't really change. I must have only changed the stuff downstairs. We need the charge for the TV.
place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. Hold on. Again, drop frames again. almost like it knows it knows but i must keep trying i use the story to dive deeper every word i write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness i dive to the bottom to find the answer to the map and the key and the compass that's combined to form a door leading out but how do you open a door that's not a door at the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake that's not a lake Man. All right, that's uh, that's initiation, chapter one down. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, if this is if this is the kind of difference in gameplay that's gonna be between Alan and Saga, this is super fascinating. Okay, so I'm assuming, even though technically it says... The chapters in this game have been very strange, because it says we just ended the chapter, but I'm assuming we're still kind of finishing up the chapter here before we kick off the next one, because it hasn't told us we started the next one yet. Which, again, is confusing. <laughs> What else was different in here? We got a pathway over here that's different. Shoebox can store your items. Alan can access stored items from any shoebox in the dark place. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> that ring is very familiar. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Wow, this is so trippy. Did I just hear a taken? There's somebody right there talking. Uh, let's put a pin in that guy. Let's go answer the phone. Hello? Hello, Wake. 
Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Going right into initiation the chapter said two. Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. It really is, Lorian. It really is. I'm kind of afraid to go over to this guy, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, we kind of have to go over to this guy. <laughs> stirred like there was someone there but there was no one I wanted to keep it that way okay okay so no taking just yet we have not experienced any kind of combat with Alan Wake yet Oh man, how open is this area? We don't have a, a map for this city yet. Oh yeah, look at that. It's even calling this the dark place. <laughs> so if we, if there was any doubt that we were in, still in the dark place, that pretty much answers that. Oh, there's some things to do in here. Do we need... Do we need to ride some more? I had to find the subway station. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. Okay. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. Now, I'm assuming we saw the whole thing, right? This isn't a situation where we saw part of it, but then we would actually have to access this to watch the rest. I'm assuming this is just where we can come to rewatch it if we need to. <sighs> okay, so yeah, this is an this is an open area. We're trying to enter Caldera Saint Station, find the subway station entrance. Question is, I kind of want a map. Did we pass a map anywhere? I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm observant enough. We could have easily passed a map and I just didn't notice. We're looking for a Shebway station entrance. Well. Should we just go exploring? This looks like a barrier. I'm assuming we can't go beyond this. We just found bullets. <laughs> we just need to find a gun. The 
door wouldn't open. Okay, so there is uh, clearly stuff to find, at least in the form of toolboxes. Wait, is this a map? Ah, see? I did. I totally, totally walked right by a map. Did I call it or did I call it? All right, we got a map now. Thank goodness. Okay, alley. That doesn't say much, but that makes me want to explore it. Here's Caldera State Station. Okay, let's check out the alley and then we'll go to the station. Ah, getting more dropped frames, man. More dropped frames. Can't we just play in peace? I have not tried refreshing my connection with uh, YouTube at all today. Maybe we should have done that when we were on break. Hard to say. Hard to say. light protected area down here but again we have not encountered any combat just yet we don't have a flashlight I was assuming this light device that we got was gonna be our flashlight is this the way it was on the page what the hell Casey what are you doing here oh hey we met at door show Alan Wake the writer I'm Alex Casey looking into a murder come on what what is this there's a piece of evidence a manuscript of a novel you wouldn't know anything about it a manuscript what manuscript I need to see it rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders a murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. I like how they've made Alex Casey look. <laughs> he, he's just he's just the old school Max Payne, head from head to toe. Are they are they trying to bring in Max Payne into the Remedy universe? I mean, his name's Alex Casey though. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Great. Well. We can assume the moment we get a flashlight. A flashlight to protect myself. Yep, that's it. Now we're going to be getting into combat. I was enjoying the walking simulator. 
<laughs> now we gotta worry about things coming out trying to kill us. Written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. it to make my way deeper hmm maybe it was a good thing that we came down this alley to start with oh. I'm gonna connect and disconnect it lasted for a second but it still happened either way but yeah I wonder if we had gone to uh, the station if we would have ended up hitting us like a dead end where we would have had to have come back out and come down here With the alley in darkness now, less of the shadows block my way. Come on, man. Don't like that. Don't like that. Let's leave them behind. not forcing us to engage just yet. I don't know when it's going to. Oh, where it's definitely. The shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Oh no. Do we have freaking taken objects? <laughs> Do we have possessed objects now? Oh, damn. Come on. Destroying the darkness nodes with your flashlight will reveal the way forward. Great. <coughs> we gotta destroy all of them? This is the moment to destroy it. Should we do some exploring? <clears throat> we haven't gone to the plaza here yet. Considering we found that that box, I need to be paying attention more too, man. I could easily miss those boxes. Is it reminding me that we should do some writing? I don't know. 
Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murder cult was following the story to commit their was wait their leader. Had he written it? Or would he be the next? Uh, okay. Let's see map, plot board. No. I guess not. Okay. Now I'm afraid to approach these guys. I know they disappeared before, but will they still disappear, or am I just going to spawn an enemy? horrifying oh no oh shoot I didn't even realize it transformed this alley crap I'm kind of glad we got put back over here we missed this Wait, what? What? <laughs> uh, is there anything worth doing going through here? Let's see. Normally the arrows like that lead you to something. But it's just taking us in a loop. Okay, then. Maybe it was nothing. I mean, it wasn't nothing. It was definitely something, but... We didn't seem to get anything out of it. pick up over there see I don't know what to be concerned with and what not to be concerned with what is gonna attack us and what's not and maybe that's the idea I don't want to waste ammo. I don't want to waste our battery either. Oh, fuck! The shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. 
With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. All right, so mm, did it reload though? Like, yeah. So if it reloaded, reloaded, we didn't obtain this video, for example. So I need to make sure. We didn't find anything over this direction, though, otherwise. I think there's something completely different. Something completely new, Lorian. By all accounts, the Taken are people. At least in the real world, they were people, but the darkness had consumed them. So they, as far as I know, they're real people. If anything, the closest thing you could probably associate them with is some kind of supernatural zombie. But then again, that's that was in the real world. We're in the dark place. And the dark place is not real, so I don't know what the Taken would be in this place. Like, this is something completely new for me. Nothing we experienced in Alan Wake 1 involved us being in, a, like, another realm like this. At least not that I remember. The darkness is some supernatural paranormal entity that can consume people and take them over. And they have some kind of weird semblance of their humanity. That's why you're hearing them say really normal things. That's kind of like the person seeping through the darkness. If there's any any semblance of their humanity left inside of them. But the darkness has control over them. And they're kind of just like monsters at this point. It does. This, especially this one... The funny thing is, is that I, I, I kind of described Alan Wake 1 as a game that felt like it wanted to be Resident Evil, but didn't quite hit, hit it. But this one, on the other hand, feels very Resident Evil, especially compared to the newer ones. It, it ri rem reminds me a lot of the uh, Resident Evil 4 remake that we just played. But yeah, whereas like Resident Evil dealt with a lot of some traditional monsters, both in mythos from America and zombies, mythos in Japan, The, the all the weird stuff that happens in the Remedy universe feels more unique. I don't know if they uh, I don't know if they have relations or anything pertaining to like Finnish uh, mythology, or if it's just Remedy making making up new stuff altogether. Yes. We still haven't found any other, like, boxes or anything. We found one toolbox at the beginning. Bloody hell. We found one toolbox at the beginning, and we haven't found a single one since. 
I don't like these guys. Alright, and it's entirely possible I'm just blind and I've been missing them. Alright, well, we've we've probably searched enough. Maybe we should just make our way to the station. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. Yeah, I had to no, make it it's appear. not. It's right here. Yeah, Maybe it is. I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Now, was this blocked when we had the light before? Oh no, this has got. This is another deposit point. Hold on, before we go to Calde before we go down this station, let's check out what this is. section of stuff here but a lot of this could possibly be down below I don't know well we can't go over there right here anyways for the moment see have we been missing toolboxes I don't know okay it just occurred to me that we don't have this any of this associated with anything painkillers Quick slots. Okay. I'm trying to look for the boxes. But it is interesting how different the games are from Remedy Entertainment because this, the Alan Wake games and and feel like they could very possibly have been uh, inspired by Resident Evil, at least the later titles. When did Resident Evil 4 originally come out? Is it maybe it's just a coincidence? Uh, the original Resident Evil 4, not the remake. 2005. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it's very possible they took inspiration from, from the third-person Resident Evil titles. Um, but then, like, you look at something like Control, and Control has such drastically heavy action gameplay that's super different. Control was like like a superhero game. Okay, this might actually be giving us access to this area. Does it make sense that we're exploring this area before going to the station? I don't know. The fact that it's here is making me want to explore. And the fact that it's giving us an option to explore it. Oh, I... 
the way that they're doing the dark place taken where they're just straight up like shadow entities puts you so much more on edge because you don't want to waste your ammo you don't want to waste your batteries so you want to make sure that what you're fighting is actually something that can be fought but you see how all of those ones were coming at us <laughs> it's, this is me and this gameplay is messing with my head Yes. Okay, so we can go downstairs here, and then we have a ladder that goes up here. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. Align the echo by approaching it from a specific angle. Say what now? Oh, see. Tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence the crimes committed could never be erased. Not by the rain. Or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. And I never stopped drinking. Okay, well we just found another collectible in this realm. That's the first time we've seen anything like that. Mike. Oh, come on. Mike. Yes, that's me. Go away. <laughs> Hold on, let's check to see what these arrows are first. Where are we going in this part? Last time we followed arrows, it just took us in a bloody loop. Aim your flashlight at the spiral. There was something hidden here. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? Words of power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the writer's room. What? Words of lamp. We have one. Main attraction. Restores 50 health for each second when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. So there you go. See, I've probably been I've been probably calling these different. It makes sense that the name Taken would just refer to people in the real world. Real people that have been taken by the darkness. This seems to be just referring to the ones that are here in the dark place as shadows. In this case, hostile shadows. To differentiate from the shadows that aren't attacking us from the ones that are attacking us. So yeah, it doesn't seem like we're calling them 
taken here. Just calling them shadows. Provides 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost. Provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Ooh. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, it goes from 25 to 50% on the next upgrade. Okay. So I'm assuming that's the only thing that we had as an option. Words of aid. Increases hand flares. Area of effect by 13%. Increases effectiveness of trauma pads by 10%. Painkillers by one second. Increases damage dealt to enemies in close proximity? Like closer to you? I'd rather them not be close to me. Ooh, I like that. So we can get around them. Yeah, that definitely that do, definitely did not feel like something that was present in Alan Wake 1. Pretty much if enemies were in the area, they were going to come at you. There was no sneaking around enemies in the first one. Decreases damage received from the darkness projectiles by 25%. Oh, goody. We have that to look forward to. Okay, so yeah, we got upgrades to deal with. Ran that. Okay. Here's the, the billboard. Rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> Again, I'm assuming sins, that we heard it all. The evidence of the crimes committed could never be erased, not by the rain or any. Of all right. All right. So, now I'm curious if the arrows that point, pointed us in a loop back in the alley, did they point to this? A spiral that we missed? Maybe. That's entirely possible. Alright, MP. Good night, MP. Thank you for stopping in. Until next time, MP. Be well. So yeah, now I feel like we need to go back to the alley and see if we missed this spiral. Thank you, MP. And of course, yes, always a good friendly reminder. If you have not yet already, don't forget to hit that like button. Be like MP, hit the like button. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. There's so many places to go back here. Ah. So many places to go, so many things to see. So what does painkillers do? Pain medication restores a small amount of health quickly, replenishes additional health over time. Okay. We can go up here. We can go up these stairs. Dude, seriously? This is crazy. What is this? An echo, okay. places to go and too many things to see. There's an echo somewhere over here though. Oh, 
we'll get a flash bang. Oh, I don't know what to put. Flash bang, I feel like. Putting here makes more sense. Let's quick slump this to number nine. Oh, man. I've got to move my quick slot keys to different locations, I feel like. Echo somewhere right near us. Fuck me. get through this? Oh, we can. This was locked last time. I don't know if there's any advantage to having left like this. And we've left our light source there. Our light is active over here. Or inactive over here? Light is active here, inactive over here. But that means we have an active light in our bag. Yeah, okay. We still haven't gotten the echo. Ay ay ay. About this door. Shoot, we could have opened this probably from that side. He could not Dang it. On side. Oh crap. Are these guys following me? Hey Harry's Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't like this. I do not like this. Alright. Alright, alright. We gotta go back. There's gotta be a reason to put to put those bloody guys in place, right? How did we get up there to begin with? Was it through these stairs? Is this how we got up here? Let's go around those bastards. I mean, I don't know if like we had to do that just to get access to the echo. We still didn't, I still didn't see where the echo was. Oh, bloody hell. The controller just went out. That's gonna be, start becoming a problem. Yeah, there's an echo somewhere over here. And for the life of me, I don't... I don't know... I don't know where it is. We still never saw... We never came across the hunt... The, uh, the humming voice. Oh, gosh! Come on! You gotta stop doing that to me, guys. Open door over there, too. Ah, <sighs> sad day. All right, Cleo. Good night. Sleep well. Oh, look, a safe spot. Was this here before? Is this here now because we changed the light? I don't know, but I'm kind of glad this is here. So yeah, we got a shoebox. 
And now that we have like a storage place in in our save locations, yeah, because like th these, this is why it's even feeling more like Resident Evil now too. We have these save specific sp save locations and a, a a box that we can put stuff in, which we don't need to do right now, but. Yeah, very, very Resident Evil-esque. Should we investigate the humming person up here? That looks like it could be Casey up there. Doesn't sound like it though. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hey, Alan. <laughs> Stuck up on the me. Chief. Chief, what are you doing here? Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map. If you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warland Dor. A talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. <laughs> the guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. You're making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. What? Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. <laughs> what is going on? Why is the uh, police chief here? Interesting. He's got, he got. He's got points of interest on the map. And that looks like the location of the door. And that could mean that we did miss the one thing. And this could obviously still mean the echo that's right here. Well, that's handy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. Remember, I was at the morgue. I was about to give the evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? That's right. He vanished, didn't he? And this is where he's been? He's been in the dark place? What? Yay. Who, where, why, motive, why me? Hey, Reese. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Happy start of the week. You have missed a lot. Facts. Missing time. No memory until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted aliens, door, UFOs. Me, but not me? Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman? Interesting. Uh... Yeah. So is he talking about Faden? I mean, who else could he be talking about? The red-headed woman. It's got, he's got to be talking about Jesse Faden. But according to him, him and Alan Wake have been in touch with each other before. But we don't remember that. I certainly do not remember that. Be around, Alan. You too, Tim. 
All right. Well, that was good. I kind of wish we had gone up there and talked to him before. So there's a, a container over here that we haven't gotten. Or is that the container? I don't know what this box is. And there's something right next to us that we have not picked up. Question mark. Okay, so there's something over here to the left. I don't know if we can get back down there. I wonder if turning off the flashlight... Um, I don't know. I don't know if turning off the flashlight helps with not having them notice you. We haven't tested it, really. Okay, okay. This is where we can This can't be right. This is messing with my head, man. Did that make sense? We went up the stairs but came out here on the lower level. I can't take this! Where's the bloody echo over here, man? So yeah, now we're coming to this question mark. Is it just this? There's nothing in here. It's empty. What? <laughs> what is this arrow pointing at? Huh? I'm so confused. It can't be pointing at that box. That'd be weird, right? You'd think the arrow would be right here. It's not because we activated that light, is it? I don't feel like we gotta come back here. And where's the echo? <laughs> where's the echo at? I don't think the staff thing kills the Taken. It just transports the light from one place to another, as well as changing the environment. Um, it's possible maybe changing the... Oh, is that all of them? They're all right there. Can we turn this off? I think it's permanent. But I don't like all those guys standing over there. We changed... We took the light source from this cop car... Yeah, it says light shift inactive, but I'm not seeing a way to restore the light shift now. Oh wait, no, we can do it. We can do it. Okay, okay, okay. I want to explore this area with that restored. Okay, there is a... I think there is a way to go back here when it's, when it's restored. But here, I want to check up here real quick, see if that changed what was up here. And I'm going to start referring to the these guys as the shadows. All right, that didn't do anything to this. I am I don't understand these arrows pointing right here. And there's still a question mark here which makes me think I'm missing something over here. I don't understand what it is though. I don't get it. There's nothing over here. And then that arrow's just pointing at this freaking I'm lost. I'm confused. Alright, we gotta do this again. Whatever we... The echo has gotta be 
be on that spot that gets changed. But we're going to have to deal with these these shadows. These hostile shadows. Yep, there they are. Now I wonder... Are they pursuing me right now? I think they are. Yeah, they definitely are. Why am I not throwing this? I don't think that killed them all. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Oh, yeah, let's open this while we're over here. Come on, you bastards. That's it. Come this way. You dinks. That may have been a waste of a flash. We'll find out. That did not help us find the echo, though. Where the heck is the echo at? Increases flare gun projectiles area of effect by 25%. Increases knockback force of Allen shotgun by 15%. 5% chance to not consume ammo when firing the revolver. Interesting. 5% doesn't seem very, very good, but if it goes from like 5 to 15 to 25, that would actually be fantastic. <laughs> this could be very, very important, too, though. I'm curious, though. Ah, it's 5 to 10. So let's guess. It's just a 15% chance. I don't know how I feel about wasting upgrade points when it's going to be only 15% at max. 15% is not super great. <laughs> this, on the other hand, could be extremely valuable. 25% just for the first upgrade. Increases the flare guns projectiles area. That could be very, very good. Can I undo these? Nope. Of course not. Okay, so... So we found the question mark. So there is still something that we're missing here. It might even be another upgrade that we're not seeing somewhere. Um... But we still have an echo in this area that we have not found yet. Where the hell is it? Am I blind, guys? Where is the echo? Oh, there it is. It's way up there. Uh, how do we access that? I don't even think we're close enough to it down here. Let's see if it's still there when we deactivate this. I want to turn the siren off. Still up there? Yeah, it is. Okay. So there's the echo. Maybe we have to climb up here. I have no idea. How the heck do we get that thing? All right, while we're up here, let's go take a look over here again. There's got to be something that I'm missing over here. The 
the echo is gone. I'm so confused. You've confused me, Nightgazer. There is something over here, and I'm feeling like it's got to be an upgrade, but I don't understand these arrows. This doesn't make sense to me. Confused. Confused. Oh my gosh, it's right here. So the arrow's pointing here, and then that's pointing there, and then it's pointing at this over here? Ay, 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 ay. All right, we got it. Bloody hell. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we got to go back to that other alley and get the other one. Words of War. Restore 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with the flare gun. Increases double-barreled shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Increases the damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver's chamber by 25%. We haven't even gotten a shotgun yet. Can we hold on to this? Do we have to use it right now? I'm going to assume we can just hold off for the moment. Okay, so we got that question mark. So we can assume all of these question marks are upgrades. I don't know what that is. These are active light shifts. I'm wondering if it would make sense to remove this light shift just so we have another one. Because then we could keep these stairs active and we could then activate Cald Caldera's station as well I don't think we need to leave this light here there's a point of interest behind us what's the point of interest something in here I don't know And yeah, we still have the echo here. Which I don't I don't know how we access that. Unless we can get up here. That's the only thing. There might be a way to get up here. Alright, we're gonna take this again. We're gonna have to run away from these guys. But I kinda wanna take this light with us. Either for convenience, or because, honestly, we might need it. Okay, so this is going to take us back to the roof, even though it feels like we're going down. So now we are here. Overlooking down there. There's a point of interest somewhere over here. Oh, wait, look. We can get the echo from here. Uh. <laughs> uh. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. The city was a monster. Poised to tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed. That you knew what the hell you were doing. Your last mistake. Unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time. Let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Okay. Yeah, we haven't gone anywhere over in these areas yet. Painkillers. Can we just drop down there? Alright, hold on, hold on. First things first. Let's see if we can find this point of interest over here. 
Oh, crap. Oh, I misclicked. Oh, I hate that. We cannot just drop down. Okay. Uh, how do we get here? Tim, how do I get to this point of interest? Is, is there something else in here that I missed? Or is the point of interest the board? Is it just going to be permanently here on my map? It's confusing. If I found it, I don't want it to be on my map anymore. Is there something else I missed in here? I don't know. We're just going to assume that the point of interest is this room. But there doesn't seem to be anything else going on with this board that we missed. All right. What? Zoe! <laughs> Zoe just transported me back into here. She's rubbing her head all over my keyboard. What a weirdo. You're not helping, Zoe. No matter what you want to do, you can't help me. <laughs> she immediately stopped as soon as I was talking to her. She's like, I'm sorry. What? Alright, is this the... Oh, yeah. This is the green. Nice. Got some flares, bullets, uh, some duct tape we can't take, apparently. Alright, so we got flares now. Here for the time being. Okay, where is this stair going to take us? Well, this one actually took us to a roof. Where the hell are we? Oh, I'm weak. Oh, I see where we are. Okay. Oh, no! You tricky, tricky bastard. What? Okay, we gotta be careful running through shadows. That was not a normal hostile shadow. It was just one of the normal shadows, but he still threw me to the ground. What the hell? <laughs> this game keeps throwing me curveballs. He just grabbed me, grabbed me, threw me on my ass. Okay, okay, so, yeah, before we continue the station, so we no longer need to take this light, we've got a spare light, but before we continue the station, we need to get this upgrade, well, yeah, assuming these all three are upgrades, we need to go get each one. Back off. Back off, you bastards. Whoops. Did not mean to waste my battery. Alright, we got another... We got an action, and we got a war.
Decrease damage received from the darkness projectiles by 25%. Make Allen 20% harder for enemies to detect. Close proximity. We haven't had to deal with very much enemies detecting or not detecting us. At least we haven't experienced it too often. I'm going to hold off on upgrading those too. I need to I need to get more experience in the combat. I already feel like I wasted that one. I don't know. I say that, but honestly, even 15% chance of not wasting a bullet sounds really nice. Would I rather it be 25? Yes. But we'll take what we can get. No, I did it again! Ah, oh, I keep wasting my battery. <laughs> Got it. Increase maximum health by 15%. Increase max amount of health restored in safe havens by 30%. Oh. Huh. Being able to restore more of our health in safe havens could be invaluable. Restore 50% of max health when a new word of power is discovered. Oh, these all sound so good. <laughs> uh... Hmm, how much health do we have right now? We're not doing too bad, and we're at like 80, 70%, something like that. I don't know. These all sound really good. Sixty percent. Shoot, man. So does it go almost a hundred percent by the third upgrade? I'm curious about this one too, because it starts at fifty percent. Do we get a hundred percent max health when we find new words of power with this? Shoot, we should have just done this first, since we're gonna find. We already know we're having to pick up a couple more. All right, we gotta go back down here, which I oblivious, I obliviously past probably many many times I could use the light to open the subway entrance now thanks Alan So let's see. Let's see where we were missing it. Yeah, right there. I probably even saw it every time we were passing it, and I just assumed it was more graffiti. go what did we get oh we got another one of this <laughs> uh, wait was this not 30 percent before increases max amount of health restored in safe havens did this not say 30 percent why is it saying 23 percent going to 46 percent am i losing my mind did we not just upgrade this and it said it was going to give us 30 percent I'm rewinding the stream. I am so confused. We just upgraded this God Rays. And it said 30 bloody percent. And it said the next upgrade would be 60%. What?
What is this madness? Okay, somebody else asked on Reddit. I need to see. All right, Night Gazer. Take it easy. Well, there's no help. The people, someone had the same question on Reddit. Why was it 30%? And now it's 23%. And other people just said, wondering the same thing, noticing the same thing. I'm wondering if it's a bug. Uh, see if it's in the technical issues thank you thank you night gazer always a good friendly reminder be like night gazer hit that like button if you haven't yet already thank you thank you very very much appreciated Well, that's really annoying. Yeah, I mean, that makes a big difference. It going from a possibility of being 60% down to 46%? What's the dealio, man? All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Well, I mean, how often are we going to be discovering words of power? Because the, basically the way this looks to me, like, if, if we have stuff like this, basically we're getting free health items anytime we come into god rays we get a free health item by increasing the amount that we're going to heal anytime we find a word of power it's going to give us a free heal too yeah let's go ahead and do it i'm curious about this what the dealio is with that but we're just gonna have to deal with it we're gonna have to assume it's a bug We're going to have to fight a guy on the way out of here again. Possibly. Or maybe not. This is where he was showing up before, but he did not this time. Do they stay perma-dead? That would be great. That would be great. All right, I think, I think we got everything. The only thing that's strange is this point of interest, but I'm assuming that's just, yeah, it's just the, what is the deal with these containers though? Hopefully that doesn't mean we missed something in these containers. Mm, Cause that's shoe box. I don't know, we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna finally get around to going to Caldera Station, Caldera, Caldera Street Station. Now, the question is, should we bring our extra light with us? Maybe. It might be worth it. Is somebody following me? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab this light and see if it's worth bringing with us. Feels like this was a long time coming, doesn't it? A 
See, I wonder whether or not we would have needed to get that extra light. So it's almost like it probably, possibly would have been a puzzle. Where we would have come down here and been like, well, how do we continue? We would have had to have gotten another light, so we might have needed this. We'll find out. Or it's just some extra goodies to the grab. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Well, let's see. Are we blocked if we don't have this light here? Yeah, we are. We're completely blocked. So, yeah, we would have needed to do the exploring no matter what. Even if we had come down here to begin with, we would have ended up here at a dead end, not knowing what to do or where to go. You had to get that extra light from the police car. So that's cool. I'm glad we decided to grab it and bring it along. All right, let's do this. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Hmm. I probably gotta go around to the other side. FBI oh, no. an FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. First plot element. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Rewrite reality into the Caldera Street Station scene. Interesting. Move Mount... what? Oh. The story was affecting the scene. <laughs> the dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Uh, I love it. I love it! What the hell? What happened here? Okay, we need to find the subway map. Ugh. Is, that, is this a situation where I, the map was, like, on the way in, and I just completely missed it? Where is there a map at? Map. Is this a map? I mean, I guess not. Hold on. Observation is a skill I need to upgrade. They caught him. The blood trail led to the darkness of the tunnel. Okay, well, yeah. I want the map, though. Give me a map. first aid. Definitely not in need of first aid. In fact. Hmm. 
should that make me worried all right we got an arrow pointing up ah nice can I activate it through here or oh, oh wait I had it there for a second come on what's the problem We still haven't gotten the flare gun, but I still feel like that's going to be worth it. What? It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. I didn't even... I Like... This is how you can tell your brain just automatically filters ads. I didn't even notice any of this. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There is light and there is darkness. There's guilt and there's atonement, but the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. There's a long journey through the night back to the light. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. Wow, I have not been paying attention to anything. How much of this stuff is... Well, no, I, I did read the... I wrote some of the writings on the earlier walls that were talk, that kept saying you're an, it's an ocean. But yeah, they, they're all... They're all pretty in an effed up part of his mind. Everything's against him. Don't write. Your fault. You lost her. You die here. Oh my gosh. Well, none of this is very nice, is it? I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Well, these look normal. <laughs> Not everything is against us. Looper Express, Night Street. Exit Alice, 25 Alice. And you can say that again. I wonder what I, I wonder what all I missed back at the start. Something teenagers, teenager starting to get interested in writing. I can't read what the top part is. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. This is from the very beginning of the first game. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything and it was getting closer. I'd never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get the coal mine. Yeah, that's from the first game. You think you can just make up stuff? You think you can play people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You are in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. I mean, I guess that makes sense. We can assume that Scratch is doing all this. Scratch is trying to whittle away and knock down Alan at every turn may not be the only you out there. Please carry a portable light with you in the subway. See, that was a guy. That was a nice one. Scratches in a dick at every turn. That was sound advice. The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. Horror story, the victim keeps asking why. 
but there can be no explanation and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest. Eh, I go back and forth on that criteria. I, I actually have a lot, a big problem with a lot of horror movies that don't have answers. And I think, honestly, for a lot of horror movies that don't have any conclusion or answer and, and they cl try to claim that it's supposed to be open-ended. You're supposed to not have an ending. It's supposed to just make you think. I just, I consider that just lazy writing. To me, that is someone who, it, and this happens throughout horror, this happens almost probably in the horror genre the most, but it happens a lot in science fiction too, where someone, a writer comes up with an, an idea, a really good idea that's super interesting, but they have no idea how to end it. They cannot come with, up with an ending. And to me, it's a cop-out to just have it end with no explanation, no answers. It just ends open-ended. To me, that's just, you couldn't come up with an ending, and you're just copping out to the whole cliché it's just supposed to make you think you're supposed to come up with the ending in your head. Get out of here. Give me an ending, man. I want a good idea and I want a good ending to my writing. But that's harder, right? And that's harder to do. That's why you have these, uh, these horror film writers and directors that make these shorts that they release into um, like film festivals and on YouTube. They have these super neat shorts they're only like five to ten minutes long. They're super compelling and super interesting. And then they get landed from just those shorts alone into making a full feature film. And then they end up doing the same thing. They, they had the great idea they had from their short, drew it out into a feature length film, and then had no explanation for their neat idea. Yeah. An ambiguous ending. I mean, if you're gonna, if you can do it right, you can do it right, and it works sometimes. Yeah, you're right. It works sometimes, but I, I honestly, I'm, I'm going out on a limb. Obviously, this is just my opinion and speculation, but I'm gonna say for most of the time, especially in the horror genre where you can make movies at super, super cheap prices, it's just a writer that doesn't know how to end their story. Not that they were actually thinking. You know, it's it's one thing to like, I mean, look at Christopher Nolan. Um, you know, everybody wants to ponder on Inception. Is there a genuine answer to the end of the film? Is he still dreaming or is he in the real world? And that, I think, Christopher Nolan was purposefully leaving the ending to be ambiguous. Does it matter if he's in the real world? Does it matter if he's in, 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 in the dream world still? The fact that the film cuts before you can say for certain whether the top is going to stop spinning is purposefully done. Like that's a time where you have an, an open-ended ending, an ambiguous ending that doesn't necessarily conclude it in its entirety that it's okay. It, that, that, that was done on purpose and it was done well but for most horror movies nah it they just they just end and then they make me sad and the blood trail continued deeper into darkness cuz i want to continue the story That honestly it makes me super worried. It makes me sorry, wor super worried that the ending of this game even is not going to be super satisfying if they purposefully do try to leave it open-ended. Advantage, of course, being though, is that this is part of a multiverse, like a like an open universe with a bunch of different stories. So if this does end on an open-ended note, it's not too bad because we know the story's not technically done. It's going to be continued probably into an Alan Wake 3, and then there's obviously the other games in the Remedy universe. And that's that's a time where it's okay. Oh, that's right. We still don't have the map. Am I stupid? Did I miss the map? 
<sighs> Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd be driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. So why do I feel like we should have gotten the map by now? This just transported us somewhere. Shoot, should we go back? Oh, good. You guys are back. Hey, Spots. Welcome back. Oh, shoot. We can't even go continue down the tunnel here. We have to go through there. All right. That's fine. <laughs> no. No, I don't either, Spots. <laughs> you And you're never quite sure. There's shadow figures that are just... <gasps> okay. Shit. I don't like the sound <laughs> of that. <laughs> ah. uh, so yeah, there's shadow figures that kind of just mess with your head and they don't actually cause you any harm. But then there's some that do and you never quite know. <laughs> you never quite know which ones are going to actually harm you and which ones are just messing with your head. It's actually really well done. This game has put a bit of tension on me that uh, very few games have. Here's the map. Yay. And a save point. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing on space? Okay, so we're actually... I'm almost inclined to say maybe we should just go ahead and put a couple first aids in the box. Because we are kind of running out of space. So just in case. Just in case. Cause I'm starting to I'm starting to wonder. We still have not gotten a shotgun yet. And is the shotgun a shotgun I'm going to assume is gonna take up two spots. And then we're still gonna need shotgun ammo. Yes it does. Yes it does. We've been we've been talking about how much a lot of this feels very Resident Evil esque. So we actually have the met in the... Okay, this was the entrance. I don't think this was a teleportation, this tunnel. It does look like we actually went down the stairs and came out over here. So we might not have any teleportation tunnels in the subway. Seven, eight, four. I actually haven't played a lot of the Resident Evil games, but I have played Resident Evil 4 Remake, 8, 7, and 8, and yeah, they, they all share a very similar function. This, this reminds me the most of the Resident Evil 4 Remake I just played not too long ago. Oh, 
No, you should. By all accounts, I've heard four is one of the best. And it was. It was really good. Four reminded me a lot of eight. Well, you said it reminded you of seven. You know, only five and six? So have you not played seven and eight? Seven and eight were fantastic. Eight, I think, is still my favorite. Of the three that I've played, four, seven, and eight, I would probably say eight is my favorite, followed by four, and then seven. Seven and eight are fantastic. Resident Evil 8 might be one of my favorite horror, horror games. <laughs> I actually found 7 to be scarier than 8. I found 8 to be more fun, but possibly less scary than 7. 7 really was definitely more claustrophobic, which I think aided to its scariness, its tighter corners and all that, but I, I found the, the mythos... I found the story, the mythos, and, and the gameplay more fun and eight and the people which is a hand flares area of effect by 13 percent and a duration by one one second increases the effectiveness of the trauma pads and increases effect duration of painkillers oh i don't know i feel like this is going to be more handy the the one thing i tend to lean against when it comes to like increasing the effectiveness of healing and your overall health at the reason why I try to not upgrade them as often is that I guess my viewpoint is you should be trying to avoid getting hurt to begin with and if you're if you're getting better and better at the game at avoiding getting hurt then you shouldn't be needing those upgrades as much which is why I tend to upgrade them last So we're going to do that one for now. I am waiting for Silent Hill remakes to come out. I have not played any Silent Hill games. But I very much want to. But I, I the, 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 it's gotten to a point where I think they're too old. I, I don't think I would enjoy them as much. But I very, very, um, very much want there to be some remakes. As far as I'm aware, I think they're doing remakes. Or they're working on a new one. I don't know. An FBI agent had come here before. All right. Let's move on. Question is, which way do we go? This is leading us to a whole new area down here, but then there's also a side tunnel right here. Should we check out the main tunnel first? If we can. <laughs> okay, we can't go this way. Not yet, anyways. It looks like we should be able to go this direction but it is closed off. This might be, like maybe if we swap out a light, this might become open. I mean, I, I watched the first Silent Hill movie. I'm very interested in the Silent Hill series. It's interesting to me, but yeah, I never got around to playing them for much the same reason that I didn't really get around to playing any of the original Resident Evils. I think it was just during a time where I didn't play console games very often. I was playing PC games primarily at the time that most of those were releasing. And, yeah, and then by the time... I don't know if it's just a situation where, like... By the time I got to a point where maybe I would have been interested in, in, in buying them and playing them, I felt like I'd been getting left behind by how many subsequent releases had come out. I don't know. But yeah, I would be I would be very much interested in playing the Silent Hill series if if and when they come out with remakes. I don't want to go back and like play PS2 versions of them.
I don't even know if I'm going to get around to playing the other Resident Evils at this rate. I should, since they all have remakes now. I should get around. I've, I've played them in a very strange order. I played 7 and 8, and then I played 4. It was locked from the other side. Well, that doesn't help. So we actually can't go this direction yet. Can we just jump over this? Better question is, why can't we jump over this? <laughs> If we can't. I mean, come on, look. Just step over it, Alan. Can we go inside the trains, maybe? I wouldn't say you're an odd gamer. It's a creepy game. And if you're don't like playing scary games as often. That would be a very easy explanation for not getting around to playing them. <laughs> the I mean, yeah, were look at this. The blood trail led me on. Rather than just stepping over these, <laughs> we had to go through the train. Okay, so we can come over on this side. We just had to go through the train. Okay, so this is what's going to be able to lead us down this way. Let's check over here first. Find Alice. Another spot that we could just step over that it won't let us. It does look like we're we might be able to come over here at some point. Hard to say though. Maybe not. Let's see. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. Huh. You found a new scene. Go to the plot board to rewrite reality in the collapsed tunnel. Shoot, should we do this yet? Well it's gonna make us do it. We have no I choice. Have a new location for the story. This was where the agent's trail went cold, a ghost. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. Okay. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. We never went down this way. We do have an inactive light switch, but we have no light to transfer to it, so it might be that there's nothing down here we can do. But let's go back and look anyways. But that's what I'm going to assume. We need to find a light source, and then we can come back here and move on. The Last of Us was good. I, I, I don't know what the divide is for Last of Us Part 2, but I really enjoyed Last of Us Part 1, and I really, really liked Last of Us Part 2. Some of the best storytelling in games that I've ever encountered. But yeah, that wasn't easy. So yeah, we can't move anywhere in this until we get the a light to restore here. We even watched the uh, Last of Us TV show on my channel. We did a we did a live stream watch party which I'm assuming we'll probably do for season two as well bad luck to be on this case the cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit let the day shift handle it what happened anyway some fed came looking for the cult but it was a trap a satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. The 
federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. The near games? Near Amada? Yeah, I haven't played those. I'm aware. I'm aware of their existence. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. I had a feeling something was waiting there. Hmm. Okay. Well, we are moving over onto this side of the tracks now. Got another echo up ahead here. Can I go this way? I cannot. go get we should go get some hot cocoa put some marshmallows in it maybe it is made of marshmallows you don't know we're inside of some crazy dream world right now they could be made of marshmallows another echo lingered here a source of inspiration That would be great. I mean, he—I mean, he's writing the bloody story or doing rewrites. Why not? Upon closer inspection, it looked as though the rubble, which I thought were collapsed rocks from the tunnel, were actually made of giant marshmallows. And I was hungry, so I decided to eat them. He could do that. And then they probably would turn into marshmallows. See? Alan needs to think outside of the box. these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way, but I was desperate and it felt right for the story. to avoid detection. Okay, why is it telling me that just now? <laughs> we were just pondering that earlier. Whether or not having the flashlight on. Can they detect the light? Apparently they can. So I, yeah, if we can do some stealth around some of the shadows, that'd be great. Which is curious considering being in light causes you to become invisible to them. So the idea that we would be turning off our light to also <laughs> avoid detection doesn't exactly add up. This new that's plot okay. would carry me deeper into the story. The ritual antechamber to the cult's place of dark power. You can only rewrite reality in a scene you're currently in. Are we not in the collapsed tunnel? I had to be at the scene to see and understand it in order to change it. Okay. Okay. What, we gotta go back to where we were before? Are we 
heading the right way? Oh, shoot, there's something that we left behind. What did we leave behind? Oh, right there. Words of lamp. Restores 50 health for each second when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. <sighs> that, I mean, that sounds good, too, if we are losing health. But I do like this as well. 50% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. So anytime we kill an enemy, we possibly get a charge back. Hmm... 50 health per second? Hmm. How much health do we have right now? We have full health. And how are we doing on flashlight charges? We got four batteries. We'll put a pin in that. We'll put a pin in that one. All right, so question is, do we want to go back to the collapsed tunnel scene to change it? I'm curious what's up ahead here. Are these guys about to attack me? I see. This is why they were saying to turn off our light. So we can actually get really close to these shadows with our light off without them detecting us. Wake. Yes. Stop using the words. You stop using the words. Okay. Now we can change it here. Why couldn't we have just grab the light and gone back here anyway? I don't know. Maybe we need it there. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. A twisted Bible. Okay. I guess that's that. So wait, are we gonna swap it back again? Accomplish with that. It didn't let us read it. Hmm. Yeah, it just says find more signs of cult activity in the tunnels. Tad bit confusing. We do have more lights out here. Should we start just going backwards? Was, were, were these red lights here always?
The water was gone. The way forward was open. Okay. Well, that does explain why we couldn't put the light <laughs> back. I don't know why I didn't think of that. All right, well, I guess let's leave the collapsed tunnel the way it is. Although it's bugging me that it's still showing it down there in the bottom left. All right, it's gone. Can we take it with us on this side? Ah, oh, not cool, man. All right, I guess not. We have to leave it. What? I didn't even see that. This one looks empty. Is that Tim again? What the hell? Uh, hey, Alan. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in putting a lot of roadblocks in my way so you think this is a dream i'm not ruling it out now, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid they feel real until the second i wake up you know the dreams i'm often someone else a different person with a different name living a different life in in a different world what alternate realities maybe but certain things don't change like door is that supposed to be a reference to him being in quantum break <laughs> Like, was Quantum Break just an alternate reality for Tim Breaker? I mean, his name's Tim Breaker, for crying out loud. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. All right. Mind if I grab this map? Okay. So there's something that we missed over here. A crate. Everything else is forward. Could go back and grab that while we're still here. Might as well, I guess. Yeah, maybe. What? No. Let's see what he's got updated here. Okay, what is this place? Dream. Feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Now New York. Not New York City. A way to other places? A nexus? Is door the gatekeeper or trying to get somewhere? Everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening access window. Tim, you might be losing your mind, but that's okay, buddy. So am I. We're in this together. All right, yeah, let's go back, grab whatever that container was. Nothing in here. I'm starting to wonder if some of the stuff we find is randomized. 
We found that one container down, you know, down the... At the dead end there in the city that was empty. And it seemed odd. Alright, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back, see if we can grab that box, whatever it is. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was any place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in the place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above some pieces of orbitable junk, or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Night Springs. Yeah, but Night Springs is supposed to be kind of like a... A containment. Like, most of the stories in Night Springs are real, right? It's like taking... Taking real life crazy things that are happening in the world and allowing people to actually hear about them for real or something. I don't know. It's been so long since we played Control. Alright, where is this box? Here it is. It's a shoe case with a lot of good stuff in it. Glad we came back. Only problem is, we only have one slot left. Although we're right next to the save point. Let's go put this extra med kit away. Then we might as well save while we're here. Bandage over here too. You know what? Screw it. Let's put the pills over here too. We got all these heals. It's good to know we got them. Hopefully we don't need them. We got two full health restores, two bandages. We actually have four other painkillers too. We got a lot of heals. And then we got a bunch of flares now. A lot of heals. It's hopefully the all this stuff is going to stick with us. In Alan Wake One, um, pretty much it didn't matter what amount of resources you collected and saved, you, you lost it all in between chapters. I'm assuming if we have this box this time around, we actually have supplies we get to keep between chapters. But I don't know. It might be as soon as we leave this dream state. Everything's going to be gone anyways. It's very possible. Yeah, well, I don't know. You mean the fact that you would lose everything between chapters? It's hard to say. It, it made me realize that I didn't need to scavenge as much in, in Alan Wake 1 once I realized that. I would start using my stuff more often. There wasn't any benefit to hoarding it. But you didn't have stashes or anything like that in Alan Wake 1. You just had a bunch of stuff that you collected and then you would get transported and changed and through different story elements it would basically be like, oh, you lost your gun and you lost your flashlight and you'd have to pick up You'd end up picking up a new gun, new guns, new flashlights throughout the whole game. So there was actually, technically speaking, a lot less resource management to do. The game basically dictated when and where you would get items. True. 
Yeah. I'm with you guys. Depending on the game, I often will will not heal at all <laughs> during combat. But yeah, I will be the same way. I won't heal usually until I get right down to the end. And even then, I oftentimes won't heal. People will constantly be yelling at me to heal. I don't know why I do that. But usually in games, if I'm in the middle of combat, I will just tough out the combat. And if I die, I die. In fact, there's been a few games that we've played where I've actually done that as a straight-up challenge. Where I've said, I'm not going to heal. Especially for games that auto-heal. If there's a game that has an auto-heal element where you automatically heal outside of combat, I will typically not heal at all. I just simply won't heal. Ever. And so I have to survive. In those particular games doing that challenge, I just simply have to survive combat. Period. If I die, I have to start over. If I survive, then the, the game's auto-heal function will kick in. I want to say Horizon Forbidden West. I think we did the entire playthrough that way, where I didn't touch the heal at all. Bastard. Are you real? Oh, you're definitely real. What the heck, man? That's cool, bro. Damn, man, he kept knocking us down. <laughs> Did it spots? <laughs> Red Dead is a hard game not using Deadeye. There was portions where I didn't use it at first, but yeah. It's a tough game. If you want to really challenge yourself in a game, man, play Red Dead Redemption without using Deadeye. It's hard. Deadeye, man, is like a superpower, though. It's good, though. Combat feels great in Red Dead. The memory is fading like a dream. I must hold on to it. I remember an awful beacon in the darkness. A scene of a ritualistic murder site in the subway tunnels. Is it a previous draft of my writing? Must be. I've been trying to shape the dark place around me, but so much fades away. Even my memory of the process, washed away by dark waves. But some things remain the darkest, nastiest elements, like the murder site. It's my goal, a stepping stone to travel deeper to escape, write a narrative that takes me there. Casey will lead me to it. I kind of would rather watch these back in our mind place than watching it on the TV. I say that and honestly it's so quiet. I remember an awful beacon in the darkness, a scene of a ritualistic murder site in the subway tunnels. Is it a previous draft of my writing? Must be. I've been trying to shape the dark place around me, but so much fades away. Even my memory of the process washed away by dark waves. But some things remain the darkest, nastiest elements. Like the murder site. It's my goal. A stepping stone to travel deeper to escape. Write a narrative that takes me there. Casey will lead me to it. Uh, yeah, that's true, Spots. I mean, I suppose they, they they clearly did that by design, though. The goal, uh, some of those ones involving the sniper, like the gold medals. Yeah, it's it's clearly by design. You have to like really plan you, the use of your dead eye in those sequences very very carefully in order to get the gold I 
guess we're going up. You need help. Good luck. Thanks, random cardboard. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. All right, we're doing a rewrite. Another rewrite. And a good as time as any as a general reminder. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet already. We move forward here. This is a long chapter, but then again, we've done tons and tons of exploring. I have not been looking at the map. Oh man, I have, like I don't. Where have I even been? Have I missed some of this stuff? Shoot, I shouldn't have been looking at the map. Hold on, we need to go back I down. I need to find the answer on the plot board. I know. Where I don't like I don't know where we even were. Yeah, we totally passed some stuff. We had to have. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. Now that I say that. Maybe not. Gosh, maybe not. Interesting. But if you were playing... Like, I did not have that issue with uh, Deadeye at all. But then again, I used a mouse and keyboard for all my combat in uh, Red Dead. So that probably made a distinct difference. If you're using a mouse, if you're using a controller, it can definitely feel slow. I'm sure you probably could change it in the settings to speed it up. But, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're, f if you're familiar with my streams on Red Dead, you'll see. Like, I can, I can snap from head to head to head very quickly during Dead Eye. You should, Lauren. It's great. It's really good. The ending of the game, the epilogue, are fantastic. Really, really good. Alright, well, we just went back for no reason. Let's I see. have a new scene to use. A new setting. Ooh. We can use both of these for this? The agent had come here looking for the cult for trouble used fire to claim dominion over the tunnels. Should we look around before we change the setting? Yeah, let's look around first. Look, here's another one that was empty. All right, hold on. We're missing... There's a word of power somewhere around here. question is, where is it? This arrow is pointing... up. Up where? Oh, right there. War. Another one. Still haven't found a shotgun yet. I was sure I had the answer on the plot board. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, Alan. We're getting to it. Don't worry. Alright, let's do the missing FBI agent first. I don't know what's going to happen with either of these. <laughs> Denominational. Maybe.
Hmm. I probably should have changed it when I was standing back. We've got a walkie here. Some footprints. Is that the only thing that changed? It might be. All right, let's do this. Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. Is that it? Let's switch it to the other one. The scene and heartbeat make sense together. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. That's a scary thought. Being cooked alive inside of a train car. Okay, that's our first ranged attack. Oh, come on. You bastard. I know it works. Yeah, see, one of our upgrades has to do with, like, reducing damage from... What was it? Is it aid? Decreases damage received by darkness projectiles by 25%. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Now that we've actually started to encounter guys that shoot stuff at us. Jerry Juice. We are definitely hurt right now. We are limping. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. Which one did I pull out? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, this is the first time we've done painkillers. Okay, that's it. Yeah, painkillers are very, very small amount. I definitely need to be a little careful, because sometimes this appears to be just like Alan Wake 1, where the checkpoints can be pretty spaced out. So that would be one downside to dying, is that you never know how far back it's going to throw you. What? Seriously, what is the dealio with all these empty icebox? Maybe if we were playing on easy, we would see these filled with something <laughs> more often? Maybe. It right, could not be locked. opened on this side. All right. There's a box here somewhere. Maybe when we're written into a different scene. 
No, that's a good game. Left 4 Dead. I haven't played Left 4 Dead for so long. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 are some of my highest played games on Steam. That's exactly what these are, painkillers. Although, to be fair, I think... Didn't Max Payne have painkillers? Max Payne was definitely... Pre... Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Max Payne had painkillers in them. So this is, if anything, this is stemming from Max Payne, which was, uh... Which was, uh... One of Remedy's earlier games. Why am I hearing... Huh. That's strange. You guys can't hear it, but I'm getting... A little frame on it. Warning. But I'm not getting any bad frames. I mean, we did get a bad frame there for a second, but why is it still telling me this? I should stop. Stop. Whoa. We can melee with our, our flashlight? Since when? Are you telling me if we don't aim our gun, we can melee? <laughs> Did the game tell me that earlier and I didn't realize? That's great, because I don't think there was any melee in Alec Wake 1. Alright, what do we need to do? We need Do we need to change the scene again? Maybe we need to change it inside. Can we, yeah, I think we can change it in here. I had a new idea, a new story thread. Case. More stuff. We need to put the flash nades on something. Quick slot. Have it on seven. We don't have anything on eight right now. We could put it on eight until we get a shotgun, I guess. Or maybe I need to get used to it being here. Yeah, let's just put it here. We'll put both these and that in the same spot. Let me get, let me see here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We haven't seen any newer flashlights, but then again, we've only been playing Alan Wake today. In the first Alan Wake, you actually got, there was like three or four different types of flashlights you came across throughout the game. Some being more powerful, bigger, etc. It was locked from the other side. All right, all right. No worries. Now, what did I accomplish by doing this other than freeing open that crate? Can we open the door from this side? Nope. Yeah, what did we... What did we accomplish doing this from this side? Was it just to grab that suitcase? Was that it? Nothing else? Deputy, Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people and huge manhunt for one stuck 
him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. Wasn't even clear what the man had done except run from them at the trailer park. Logan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience. The fed was running out. Alright, do I need to switch back? There doesn't seem to be anything else I can do in here. Oh, we have the torch bearers now. Uh, the scene here had changed. Do I need to go out there for the torch bearers, though? Let's see. The way forward through the bowels of the burnt carcass. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. All right, Lorian, take it easy. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time. Sleep well. Ooh, this is horrible. So we're seeing the aftermath of this now. Fantastic. up man fuck me Outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather is getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Since the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. But yeah, we were just talking about how much of a nightmare it'd be being stuck inside and cooking. And then they turned it straight into a nightmare for us to see. I guess we should have expected that. I bet, Reese. I bet. Hmm. We're missing something. Where is it? I don't know. We've got another arrow.
Huh. This makes it seem like it's behind these boards. How do we move these boards? Can we move these boards? Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely right here. Can we see it from up there? Oh, we can. Can we get it from up here? I don't know. Doesn't feel like it. Get out of the way, chair. Are we supposed to be able to get it from up here? <laughs> I can see it. All this cardboard's in the way. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. I don't know if this is what we're supposed to do or not. Hold on, let's try something. My writing was affecting reality. Does change anything? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Board's still in the way. Let's try the other one. I don't know how to take that, Reese. <laughs> That's a strange observation. They both sound terrible. But I think I would rather do Antarctica clothes in Australia. Both are going to lead to your death, probably. <laughs> but I think Australian clothes in Antarctica would probably lead to a very quicker death. Alright, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I don't know if there's something else we're supposed to be... Am I supposed to be doing here? I don't want to leave it behind if we can get it, but... We can see it from up top, but I can't get it to activate. This is going to drive me crazy. I don't want to leave it behind if we can get it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Alright, where are we? We're going to look it up. I don't want to leave it behind. But yeah, there's nowhere to look up from the bottom. And we can't jump on this thing or knock these down. Ah, oh, shoot. That got it. <laughs> that got it. Uh, I just wasted that. Yeah, where are we? Let's see. Man, what? Is this serious? Ugh, that's so annoying. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. I don't want to waste my ammo. 
<laughs> we had, why can't we just, why not make it so you can, uh, oh my gosh, I just wasted that battery too. Why not just make it so you can destroy it with your melee? You have to shoot it. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, yeah, it's all stemming back from the frickin' birdhouse. <laughs> <laughs> where we wasted our ammo trying to shoot the birdhouse down, but then it was it didn't come down until you solved the puzzle. Ay 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 ay. Alright. What did we just get? Is it war? I don't know which one we got. Must have been action. Second action. Is, is one of these guys going to kill us if we try to get it? Well, one of these guys is definitely going to try to kill us. guy chilling out over there. Oh yeah. I didn't really notice that until we just got it too. So that's good. Um, yeah, I mean 100% would be good. Like I said, basically that turns... It turns words of power into a free health item that you can come across. Hmm. Let's do this, though. We actually haven't come across a safe haven in a while. So, yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. This is. I feel like we're getting gypped. It was 30%, then it was saying the next upgrade was going to be 60%. Changed to 23%, now it's at 46%. I don't know what the original top end was supposed to be. It makes me wonder if it's a bug that the, the uh, amount of the percentage has changed, or if they changed it to the percentage that it, we currently have in a balancing update and the bug is that they never updated the original percentage all right i'm curious to look in there but not not while all these guys are hanging out and i feel like at least one if not two guys here have got to be hostile shadows so we're gonna go head on out Ooh, there's lockers there, though. <laughs> I don't know if there's another locker there. I'm too scared to op try to open the other one. Alright, let's get out of here. source down here. Okay, we're over here now. Sp 
suppose we should take this with us? Or should we leave it for the My moment? My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. Okay, the that's lights probably would help me. Safe spot. All right, we've got an extra. Okay. All right, we're good. Save. Wait, what? Oh, I accidentally overwrote this one. I did not mean to do that. We should have overwrote this one. It's too late now. What's done is done. All right. Oh, that got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put that, put that in there. Anything change up here from doing that? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we got three words of power to pick up. Four, eventually, but three right in the immediate vicinity. Oh, okay. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Us? Is it physically moving us? I can't tell. No! <laughs> what are we doing wrong? We can't move it here, from right here. Alright, don't transport me. There we go. Was I not here the last time we moved it? It felt like it bumped me out. Maybe I was too close to the wall.
What? I have no idea what I'm accomplishing right now. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so confused. Alright, we got two active lights now here. Hold on. Alright. Do it again. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's... Super trippy. Hey aboard. How goes it? How goes it? Yes. Dude, we need a flashlight to go through. I mean, I guess we technically don't, but I very much would like a flashlight. I don't want to sneak around through here. It's too dark. Can't see anything. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay, we no one is in right here. I'm gonna have to turn the flashlight back on. Where the hell is it? We're right next to it. like it's over here. I'm sorry to hear that board. Welcome. Hopefully this game doesn't make it so. <laughs> you can't sleep even more. This game's pretty pretty damn freaky. So confused. Oh my gosh, for real? How did I not see it? Words of lamp. Ah, nuts! Oh my gosh, I didn't know they could. Holy crap. Okay. Well, that's something we just learned. When we go into our mind place, they can attack us. It is not paused when we're in there. Not cool, man. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Well, I mean, does this answer my my inquiry about whether or not whenever we were in the mine place with Saga, is she just standing there, blankly staring, or standing there with her eyes closed <laughs> while she's inside of her own head? 
It'd be super silly. Let's see. Let's see if they attack me while I'm in this. Can they detect when I'm inside my brain? I have no idea. Okay, we got a light we can grab here. I'm assuming we definitely need to get it. What? Shoot, man. Did we leave a container behind? Uh... We did. Yeah, so we definitely... There was a cup... There's nothing in this bloody thing. What the hell, man? Yeah, there was definitely a couple containers we missed back at the start of this level. Not that we're in desperate need of supplies. Alright, what did we change? Calm down, Shadow Man. Wake. Come on. <laughs> there better be a good reason to come over here. These are, these actually, this enemy type reminds me a lot of the BTs, and, uh, in Death Stranding. But honestly, I think these are scarier, especially since they're so unpredictable. It kind of makes them way worse. Okay, I think this is the way we need to go. The yeah. echoing hall had a story a new to tell. Scene. Wake. I 
That's my name. Don't wear it out. Dude, we didn't find anything over here. What is the point of coming over here? I was thinking maybe this was like some alternate route that we could do. Oh, we have the scene. Shoot, we gotta do the scene. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do the scene. I had a new idea for a scene. Yeah, but what should we do? Should we just go over left to right like we did before? Okay. Agent witnessed the cult's depravity and ran. Torchbearer's secrets were not safe from the cult. This is where the cult waited for the time to strike. The plot changes shape the world around me. Don't write. <laughs> oh, Nightingale. Can we change the scene while we're inside this room? Does that make a difference? What else did it change? Did not change anything else? Yeah, let's see what happens if we change it while we're in here. Were we able to come in here before? I don't know. Oh, it, it moved us out. We could not stay in there while well, we changed it. Chains into the murder cult's hideout. The Fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The 
cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. The cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. Rider, not of the last. Shadow cast. Third eye. Project the night. This is your time when you're gone. Rider, the first word, not the last. In the shadow. I open. This is your time. Ritual friends will meet. Not the rider. The light shadow. To write, to lead, will meet. What? What? The new story beat fit the story perfectly. Did it? <laughs> Summoning ritual. What the hell is happening? Okay. Can we leave now? <laughs> Thank you. Can we leave? Screw you. Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Yes. going Alan Wake you lost the plot Hi guys I switch this light back? I don't know. We got one more word of wisdom in the area. No. Word of wisdom. Word of power. I don't know if we should check over here before restoring the light. Tired of opening these empty coolers. I don't know. We'll just leave it there for now. But I, I just, I mean, we've got to need it, right? Surely we'd need this light for something else. Maybe over here. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna leave it for the moment. Another empty cooler. I don't understand the empty coolers. Why are all these coolers empty? I'm actually gonna look it up real quick. Like, the only thing I could figure is that maybe those coolers would have stuff in them if we were playing on easy. I 
I mean, unless that's it. We do have a lot of heals. So unless the game, unless this is a game where it like detects how much stuff you have and it doesn't give you more stuff. What, what, what did we play that was like that? Uh, Dead Space. The Dead Space remake had a mechan had mechanics like that, where you would get less items the more stuff you had, and you would get more things if you started running out. Which actually doesn't make a ton of sense. I guess it's just to make it so you don't have too much stuff at any given time. But if you're going to get more stuff when you start to run out, doesn't it negate that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know. But yeah, like like every single <laughs> every single cooler we've opened, it feels like we didn't, there's not been anything in them. But I'm I'm seeing other people asking the same question online. A general consensus seems to be like the more stuff you have, the less you're going to find. But I do ponder if that's the other thing, too. It might be possible that if you're playing on easy, maybe you find more stuff. That's also possible. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. But it does feel kind of sad that we keep opening stuff and there's nothing in them. That would explain the recent amount of of empty lockers too though we've been finding a lot of empty lockers as well recently it might be that we just have a ton of stuff we have a bunch of healing stuff inside of our shoe box okay so I don't know if I'm gonna regret having left this light shift behind because actually I'm totally gonna regret having left it behind aren't I we never found a use for it, did we? We had pulled it out of the train. Oh, I did not like seeing his eyeballs through his head there for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, we had pulled this light out of the train when we were in the other side of the train. So we never actually found a use for this. So let's grab it, because that's making me think we're definitely going to need it. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? <laughs> it, it trapped us in here. Hold on. Maybe we do need to leave it? Let's find out. What, what was the point of that? I have no idea. Okay, okay. Moving on, moving on. Ooh. Okay, we were avoiding somebody through all of that. Interesting. Yeah. And the moment we ran, we... We, uh... Caused them to come after us. Alright. So, the stealth was working. It wasn't until we bolted past them that suddenly one of them came after us. So, the, yeah, the stealth was definitely working. Good to know. Who's moving this guitar? Outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. All right, we got one more. Oh, 
Whoa. Not cool. Not cool, man. Got it. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Okay. Come on, man. Go away. Is there anything in here? Is he out there? <laughs> Can't tell. <laughs> what is happening right now? Hello? Did you go away? Game freaking making us go through the dark. I guess we don't have to go through the dark. Not cool. How do we get out of here? And that's all it heals us to? Shoot, we should upgrade that more. Do we have that option right now? Let's see. Nope, it's this one right here. Look, they changed it again. The percentage has gone down even more. The percentage of the God Ray increase keeps going down. It was at 46%. <laughs> I'm so upset that we're wasting these upgrades on this one when the percentage keeps going down. <laughs> it went down again. Uh... <coughs> uh... How frustrating. God rays. I don't know. I have no idea. <sighs> Shad day. Oh, it's making me hesitant to upgrade it again. When it keeps lowering. <laughs> Why does it keep lowering? Why does the percentage keep changing? Uh, 
Yeah, I feel like I wasted it. Damn, damn, but damn, but damn. I don't know, maybe we should have been doing this since we're actually trying to do the stealth. one right I'm gonna have these completely out of order so yeah I'm gonna have to do that one next I guess we could use the one <coughs> grab this one to bring with us Is that it? Why? Why are they coming up here? Go away. You evil bastards. Oh look. Oh, look, we got a word of fix. <laughs> I mean, 56% still doesn't sound that bad, but I'm half expecting to upgrade this god rays, and then it's going to say 56% temporarily. And then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand this. This has got to be bugged. There's got to be something wrong with it. I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for war she knew would come, the war between the forces of light and darkness. Yeah, where is she at? Is she dead? Did she die? She was old, so she might have died. She didn't die in, in Alan Wake 1, did she? I don't recall that. I just felt like we... She helped us and then disappeared. But maybe I'm misremembering... Alright, we're returning to the beginning. Back at the start. Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. Why do we have that save right here? And we got we got two saves right next to each other. Here's what the torchbearers would look like around here. The plot changed the details of the world. That's fine now. 
We don't need to do that. It's fine. The top press is fine. Right, you need to run faster than this, Alan. presence it was gone and it opened a passageway for us <laughs> seriously at the start of it it looked like he was actually running <laughs> pretty <laughs> but then like it w it switched to our default our default sprint <laughs> which just doesn't feel fast enough for a situation like that you need to kick your adrenaline in, Alan. Just start sprinting, man. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Oh, man, what? Again, faster, Alan. You are being chased. Run faster. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it before. Maybe, I but it now. It was always out there, hunting me. I probably would have that same thought in a dream. Why am I not running faster? I would imagine it's just a gameplay thing. That's how fast he runs. That's how fast he sprints. But yeah, for those sequences, they probably should have given him a speedier looking, more aggressive sprint. <laughs> just for those sequences. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Well, it's a good thing we still have it. Or do we? We don't have the heart, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> uh, Saga has the freaking heart. Oh, is that it right there? Just sitting? <laughs> Alright, perfect. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Oh! This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Oh. Please, help me. Why do I feel like I should have known this? We were I playing. I was closer to home. It was like a prequel, what we were just playing. We were the playing. Vision helped me somehow. 
Something had changed. Prior to meeting Saga. Outside, Parliament Tower, where I'd lived with Alice. It was out there. Waiting for me. <laughs> I had no idea that's what was going on. Yeah. Okay, wow. All right, yeah. So... So everything that we were playing must have been taking place simultaneously during what we had been doing with Saga. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. Was I supposed to know that? That kind of blew my mind a little bit. <sighs> so yeah. Uh <laughs> I mean we got to end there. I think did was that just one chapter? Was that all just initiation chapter 1? It might have been. Uh, but yeah, I, it wasn't until, it wasn't until it showed him seeing her and then him acting like he hadn't seen her before that it occurred to me that, oh, so we were playing through the events that led up to him meeting and being pulled out of the dark place by Saga. Crazy, 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 crazy. That's cool, though. So I'm I'm going to assume that's how each of the chapter changes works. Where, um... Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm feeling like that's probably... That's probably the way it's going to be working. Man, that's super interesting, though. If if it's a situation where we play Saga and then we switch to Alan Wake to play from his perspective during the story, whatever he was doing at the same time Saga was doing her thing, that's going to make this really, really more interesting. Wow, okay. Yeah, I just... I don't know why, but I, I assumed... After we were done with the chapter with Saga, and we were driving back to Bright Falls, that it suddenly just it grabbed Alan Wake and pulled him back into the dark place for some reason. I think that's what I was thinking was happening, but no. If anything, we just we went back in time to see what Alan Wake was doing prior to Saga pulling him out of the dark place or him going, you know, freeing himself from the dark place or both crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. But yeah, we have to end it there. That was a really, really long stream, very long stream, especially if considering now we did do a lot of exploring with Saga, I guess, technically speaking, that was still like, um, finishing up the last chapter of Saga's in between starting, um, Alan Wake's chapter but as far as I'm, I know, was that just one chapter? Did we just do one of Alan Wake's chapter? Maybe I'm forgetting an in-between point. <laughs> Maybe we did two initiation chapters. I don't know. Because I know we did, two, uh, we did two return chapters, which were Saga's chapters. And then we started initiation one. I don't know. I guess I'll see. I got to go back and do the chapter list for this. So when I'm going back and looking at it, I guess I'll see whether or not we switched from initiation chapter one to chapter two, or if that was all just one really long um, first chapter for Alan Wake. All right. Well, wow. This game is awesome. And I love the the difference. I don't know how this is going to work now that Alan Wake has been pulled out of the dark place and he's now in the real world. Um, 
I'm, I'm assuming he's got to end up having to go back to the dark place at some point because that's what we were experiencing the difference in, right? Saga was being played in the real world, and then we had this difference of gameplay with Alan Wake of the Dark and the Dark Plays. So I guess, yeah, I'm curious to see how the gameplay is going to continue here on out. But uh, that'll have to wait till tomorrow. All right, guys, the game's awesome so far. I'm really having a blast. It's really, really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. And it's very creepy, very scary, and the story is super interesting. I'm really uh, excited to see where it goes from here. <sighs> All right, I'm handing off. Board, spots, anybody else is still here. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't yet already. Uh, very, very much appreciated. Subscribe if you want to be notified of future streams. And if you are watching this at a later time, thank you for taking the time to do so. And until tomorrow, everybody sleep well, be well, stay chill, stay relaxed. And if you were watching right along with me, try to get some good sleep. No nightmares, people. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night and goodbye.